He had the fucking someone pushes us. Sometimes it's hilarious. Sometimes it's Oh God. Oh my God. How did that make me happy? I can't hear anything now. Um, I'm sorry, guys. That made me so, <laughs> <laughs> so happy. So fucking happy. Oh, fuck it. I... All right, guys. Here we are. Uh, I'm sorry about that. We, um... I had fucking, someone had the level, the, 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 the knob that uh, no one told me about, no one talks about. That's what we call this knob. And when, because <laughs> Rob never told me that knob existed because he didn't want me to touch it. So, you know, because I was. This, this sounds like an uncle you molestation were, story. <laughs> <laughs> the knob that no one talks about. You can touch it, but it won't tell anyone. Yeah, it's, uh, what's wrong? No, she's got to turn my headphones up. Oh. Um, yeah, so I, this knob was turned all the way to the right for some reason which makes it extremely loud because that's the intro music knob and I didn't turn it down and everybody I just blew out everybody's ear so. it, was, it was like being in scanners good fucking reference <laughs> yeah, that's an old <laughs> holy shit reference Kelly why don't you go around the room uh, and tell everybody what the fuck's going on okay to my right the uh, leader of the list of maniacs Joe List I prefer the truth <laughs> I don't lead the list of maniacs Frank Gwynn leads the list of maniacs I'm just list He's the list But he's the, he's the master And then to his right uh, Ryder um, Arrested Development we, I, I've never spoken to you about that And I want to Everyone in this room wants you to cast them Dean Laurie Oh well hello <laughs> Nice well, to meet Arrested you everybody Ma Let's go through a list I mean the Arrested yeah. Development uh, The crazies uh, Crazy ones The crazy ones And uh, also uh, he was the showrunner and the, the motherfucker of Bronx Warrants. Of oh, the show that's I was right. On. The show Bobby was on, which was fucking great, and he was great in it. And it's just dead now, right? It's dead, but there's Bobby, there's other things. Yeah, there's other things. <laughs> other things. And then uh, a man who, about 45 minutes ago, I called Mike. It was Brandon eight minutes Collins. ago. <laughs> it was literally eight bad. minutes ago. <laughs> Saw you a week ago. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then, oh, wait, this is the best, though. Can I interject real quick? Yeah. Kelly called Brandon Mike and then it goes like this. Oh, it's because Mike Lawrence is on the show because she doesn't want, clearly she mistook him for his black friend and co-host. But I know Mike. But doesn't want to seem racist so she's like, oh, I thought you were Mike Lawrence. No, no, I'm racist. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not denying that. Oh, yeah. uh, and then in the middle, Mike Lawrence. Uh, my, my name's actually Brandon Collins. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck up. <laughs> He's getting mad. <laughs> All right, Lewis, calm. Yeah, married, um, married in like uh, 10 days. Yay. Oh, yeah. right. yeah. To a great, I'm great glad chair. I didn't yeah. fuck that up. Yeah. This, is, this is the worst bachelor party ever, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> There's and no way this is worse than your actual bachelor party. I know. Party. I saw the pictures from your actual bachelor party. Oh, was the, I went to Atlantic City and watched my friends lose money. It was the best. <laughs> <laughs> And then, um, if, is this your first time on the show? Yes. It is? Oh, man. So the, the master behind all the uh, posters you see for the YKWD, comic uh, artist extraordinaire, Howard Porter. Hello. Welcome. And uh, Beanbag, champion yeah. of Bobby Kelly's Barbecue. Did he oh, win? Shit. We well, won. Oh, you won. <laughs> Was it because of you or because yes, of him? He carried me to I scored 20 points and he scored one. one. <laughs> but you need 21 to win. <laughs> yeah. Last not least, sure. uh, we have uh, the Pedusa, Chris, Chris Scopo. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Okay, there we go. Well, now, you know why, <laughs> now you know why he's not on the show. He's a producer of the show. That fucking uh, energy just fucking. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to get. I'm trying you're to you're get like a you're like a mushy chair in an audition. Yeah, <laughs> you sounded like a Hanna Barbera cartoon Jesus character. Jesus Christ! Hey, I'm guys, trying to get shit together up. for the show. And, uh, he's working. Oh, he's yeah. working. Hey, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and then the man uh, behind uh, everything, uh, Roberto, Roberto Kelly. Uh, call me Roberto again, and I. You will love it. You love it. Uh, what about you? What about you, oh, fun tits? Oh, Kelly I'm thing. sorry, did that come out? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Joe's, Joe Liss has got a very good angle right now. Uh, now, oh, Howard. is your arm. Howard is, um, <laughs> Howard, uh, you, you work for DC Comics. Then Do you work for anybody else? Um, uh, no, strictly for DC. You but, uh, strictly. He did an arc of Fantastic Four in the I early have, 2000s, worked, but he mostly worked for DC. I have DC. worked for Marvel and stuff, and uh, <laughs> I did uh, some I could list Gatorade. off all his credits. Mic, I mic. did some uh, Gatorade bottles that are out now. Really? The NFL, like uh, Peyton Manning. And no shit. Like, yeah. 
Well, that's crazy. Now, if you were to draw uh, superhero uh, tits, would you? Could Kelly's? Could you fix those? <laughs> like, could you? They're fine. <laughs> Goddamn right, they're fine. Yeah. You haven't really looked at the, the Incredible Bulk. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we got a great show today. Uh, a bunch of my favorite people are on here, and Dean Laurie's in town, who uh, is promoting a book that I, I gave um, Joe List. Oh boy, you didn't read it. Well, you didn't read the book. I planned to read it, but the thing is, I left it in my car. It's like ten pages long, and it's mostly illustrations. I like the illustrations, <laughs> and I read the uh, I read the you know the what the the, the appraisals. Appraisals? The back the, of the book? The yes. blurbs? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. If, if you read the recommendations of the book, but then don't read the book, <laughs> that's like the dickest I, thing in the world. I read enough to go, this is great. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> like, all right, I'll we'll just, trust your opinion, New York Times. <laughs> there's some real big names on there. People I respect think this book is good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Howard, I gave it to you. I, yeah, I read the first couple cha chapters of the audio book that I bought. <laughs> what? You, wait, you, you read, you read the first couple chapters of the audio book? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You read this, this, sound? Is, this is audio? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's actually done. Why don't you send me a link? Well, I didn't, I didn't know you preferred it. audio, but you want to know who reads it? Who? It, you know, Vinny Tortorich, who was on the show a while back. Yes. You know, Vinny. His girlfriend is Serena Scott Thomas, who's a Bond girl, and she's this super upper crusty British woman. Right. And she's, you know, hilarious. She's the, the sister of Kristen Scott Thomas. Okay. And, um, and so she read the book a while ago. And thought it was just the funniest fucking thing. And she said, if you ever do an audiobook, I want to read it. And I was like, it, do it doesn't make any sense because it's written, you know, from the point of view of this sort of like filthy Alaskan piece of pervert, shit. piece yeah. of shit pervert. Yeah. And she was like, but just for, you know, for a moment, hear what it sounds like when I read it. So she started reading it and it's all the filthiest, you know, yeah. just nastiest stuff. Yeah. But out of her mouth, it was so fucking funny to me. So she, <laughs> she reads the audiobook. Kelly, can we try that right now? Yes. Can, we, can you do an English accent? Uh, yeah, I'll do it. All right, go ahead. Read the uh, read. Get a page. And you gotta reading. get you gotta get real upper cross. Can I can I get can I get the page? I like. Let me see the page. Oh, I, like. I just found a page where I saw the word tits. So I just oh, read well, that's from there. that's, that's the, on every. Page. That's the minimum. Wait, wait, of what yeah. you're gonna find. Jo jo Joe List, you're telling me if Howie Mandel says this is hysterical and it's Fifty Shades of Funny, you're not gonna read it afterwards. I have. I just haven't got to. I left it in my car. My car is. I live on the second in floor. In front of your house. <laughs> oh, sorry. So yeah. you had to walk upstairs. Two flights of stairs. All right, Kelly. Ready? Here we go. Let's. This is. The audiobook live on okay. the YKWD. Okay. Ready? Any British accent? No. no. As upper crust as you can get. No, not a British accent. He said it's, but we want, yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting my direction and my motivation. Uh, now, you might remember that my usual pickup line. Hang is on, stop. That's not upper crust. That's <laughs> okay. fucking in the ghetto. Oh, okay. That's like a pickpocket. Right. 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 Speaking of upper crust, there's something on your tip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a gypsy. <laughs> Somebody fucking Brad Pitt hung out with. Hmm. Hmm. Now, you might remember that my usual pickup oh. line Hang is on, stop, open your stop. Pussy. Think, <laughs> I want you to think Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Poppins. There you go. Mary Poppins. Now, you might remember that my usual pickup line is open your pussy, but Pandora was in a totally other league, so it seemed like I needed to class it up a bit. I stepped up to her and smiled, Hi, Pandora. Want me to part your beef curtains with my meat stick? <laughs> That's very good. It's fun. Give me this. This book is... Here's I'm just happy to know Kelly can read. Here's the problem with this book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here's the problem with this book. Tell me. You didn't tell me... Filthy. You told me that it was fucked up. And I told you. Was, I said it was the filthiest book that's ever been written. Okay, but you're talking to me, so yeah. I, I assume that you don't know me. Okay. You know what I mean? I was just fucking, you know, doing a, a search on Clitty.com for fucking multiple fucking, you know, uh, words. I mean, it know? turns out you don't know me. It turns out I can't. <laughs> turns out I don't know how to be funny on my own show. I just want words. <laughs> I just really rambled for ten minutes and nobody said anything. Um, I give it. I give it to my friend Howard Porter, right? Who was at my barbecue this weekend? Um, Thank you. And uh, his wife, beautiful wife, really cool. Oh, please don't tell me she read it. Well, I go here, read this book. I didn't fucking, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't really know about it yet. Yeah. And I was gonna read it. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on Sunday night. And, uh, and Monday night, and I give it to him, and then I start reading the book. I'm like, oh, shit. She didn't read it. Oh, oh good. Not God. yet. Thank God. <laughs> Oddly enough, a lot of women have read it and ended up really liking it. Women that I've, you know, been kind of panicky what? about. Yeah. Um, like a friend of mine, this guy Paul Melmont, who's a novelist. Like, right. a, like a fancy novelist, like writes novel novels, you know. Yeah. I gave it to him because he's a buddy, and then his wife emailed me, who's this very kind of like lovely, prim delightful woman yeah you know emailed to say you know i read it 
And, it, you know, it, I thought it was hilarious. And uh, But, uh, you know, my ass puckered when she said that, you know, she'd pick the thing up because it's just, as you know, it's yeah. not, you know, for the yeah, paint. Yeah, it's fucked up, but I do love the illustrations in it. I love this. Yeah, they're great. Do you know who it reminds me of? And another comic book artist who we love here on the show. Yeah. Uh, Beck. You know Beck, right? No, I don't. I don't you don't know, know him? No. The first... Um, the first uh, your logo poster we did back in the day, uh, Beck. He's a he's from Germany. He's a comic book artist in Germany. He does. It's a little rougher, you know, a little more like this. Uh, he did me and, and Derosa. He just of course he made me just a little tank, a little fucking angry fat tank. <laughs> uh, and Derosa had nine chins. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But Zero it, it shoulders. Rem it reminds me of that. I love this well, illustration. There, there, who yeah, did this? Uh, it's a guy named Dave McKenna who actually Dave lives, Dave McKenna. He lives out McKenna? here. McKenna? You know him? No. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, he, he lives out here, and I was trying for forever to find an illustrator. And as you might guess, yeah. it's weird material to try to find like a, a good illustrator match for. Right. And <laughs> and I was struggling, and then one of my friends said, "Hey, what about Dave? That guy we went to college with? He's kind of fucked up and living in the village, and <laughs> this is exactly the kind of shit he does." So. And he was like, literally, he was, he'd lost a job. He was kind of, had nothing going on. I said, hey, Dave, you want to do this? And he yeah. said, yeah. And he ended up being like perfect. Did you, you know pay what? him in cocaine or in money? I, Did you? I, yeah, well, I paid him in Guinness. Do you know, do you remember the, what was the animated movie that was, was it Heavy Metal? Yeah. Or, yeah. Remember it was really dirty and there was fucking in oh, yeah, it? Yeah, it was like yeah. an, R, it was the R-rated animated movie. I fucking, that movie was the shit. It probably, many titties, I was, yeah. There was a lot of titties. <laughs> yeah. I get, I, I, no, I'll, I'll admit it, I get, I, sometimes I jerk off to an, anime. Yeah, I, I watch Okay. I you watch do? Okay. Wow. Yeah. You do, what's your thing? I like, uh, I fucking get into the whole, like, uh. Like just really big titted Asian chicks in the anime. For some reason, that's like really hot to me. I, like, I'm never into it before. I, I just start watching. imagining an animator having to draw the same vagina over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing less attractive but, to it, me, but just a little different. <laughs> yeah. so you can see it open up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that that vagina's voiced by Chris Scopo. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm an anime vagina. What's up? Yeah, Bobby, the mic's not working, <laughs> and my vagina's not working. <laughs> I hate my. Day. I have he a better was voice than that, I think. He was auditioning for Garfield. <laughs> 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 Someone get me some lasagna. I'm hungry. So, uh, <laughs> can somebody turn Joe on, please? <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you here to watch? I don't, well, I don't, I don't, what, what do you want me to do? I don't know. I'll get him when I have him. <laughs> <laughs> Has there ever been a problem with my performance on this show? <laughs> making a joke. I'm letting him make his joke. I like We're that talking line. about cartoon porn. You can have fucking what psycho. Is it? <laughs> you can have him read the vagina. Oh. Of, don't oh knock until you try it, Joe. Uh, oh, the, the, the proper term this, is hentai. I, there's something about this. The cover of the book. First of all, you have yeah. a, the cover of the book. Um, you have a nun. Yeah. Which is my thing lately. Oh, are you into nun oh. porn? And also, also, I, I feel. I just looked at your fucking assistant. Is over. What's your yeah. name again? Kate, I just, I, yeah, <laughs> it's weird. Yes, I'm into nun porn. Yeah, I don't, I'm not in. Look, I'm not into fucking nun nuns like the nuns I had, but the a hot nun. Yeah, like well, that, a hot that's a, chick. That, that's a that's a part of the book. Right. Yeah. I, I, Ice Flow, you know, gets sent to part of what he has to do in his mission yeah. is, you know, he's got to learn. Uh, he's got to learn about religion. And Ice and Flow's a piece of shit. Ice Flow's a piece of shit. But physically too. Physically, he's disgusting. Physically, he's hairy he knuckles. Look, he looks like if Dennis Franz got stuck in a tanning salon. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a lot. You know, he's just this disgusting thing. He's got a six-inch dick, but he only uses the first four because what? the fifth would kill a bitch and the sixth would open up a rip in the fabric of time. So right. he, he's not. You know, he's just he's he's a mess, and yet he's the greatest coxman on earth and right. everybody wants to fuck him right and he's so he's so good that when earth is facing an extinction level threat obama calls upon ice flow because only his cock can save us all right so basically it's a it's a mm. sexual journey for right. ice flow is trying to save us and yeah. part of it takes him to the hot nuns of assisi which is a, an order of nuns that the pope keeps hidden below the vatican because they're so fuckable that if they were ever set yeah. out on the street you know there would be <laughs> I love this that. This, yeah. this turn me on. This I know. Great. This turns me on. Would you like me to come read it to you later? It, it's well, no. <laughs> in a British accent. <laughs> yeah, in a British accent. It's a very it, this type. I don't know why, but this type of stuff. I was on. I got turned on. Lewis. I used to jerk off. Remember? Uh, I think the original Call of Duty. When you, you jerked there, off to Call of Duty. I'll explain. Okay. When you could talk. Right there was you ever hear, you've been playing a multiplayer game yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you all of a sudden you hear this sexy girl voice. Hey guys, and you're like, oh shit, there's a girl in the room. 
And like I used to meet this girl in like an, like a part of the game, we'd go like over by the abandoned truck, right? And she would crouch down and just go back and forth with her character, right? And I would stand on a barrel, and it would be like she was blowing me, and she'd be like, she would talk to me like, "When I suck your cock, <laughs> oh you like it? Oh yeah, put your cock in it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on, jump on my face." And I jump out. I used to fuck. I just had my dick out. It so was you'd, like, you'd have to jerk off quick before you got slaughtered. I would, no, I don't, I'd be fucking furious, too. <laughs> I'd be fu They'd be like, where are you guys at? We need help. They're attacking. I'm getting head by some fucking dude. Because it's a guy. I would, it's definitely a guy. It's, oh, no. It's not a guy. It was a real girl. Really? It was just an army guy. Because, yeah, you know, no in Call of Duty, in there's shit. no female soldiers. It was a dude. Nor should they oh, be. Oh, right. <laughs> right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I was once playing Street Fighter against someone online, and I could hear a kid getting beaten in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so sad to me. <laughs> it's like I can't play like this. <laughs> how about how about when you're can't playing do real violence? <laughs> yeah. I've I've played online where you just hear a kid in the background going, "Dad, <laughs> Dad, like one king. second, Dad, <laughs> King of Kong, <laughs> Dad." My, I gotta do my homework, Dad. Just give me one second. Wait, Max Dad. has homework already. Well, it's like all, <laughs> like all is the your, white. Is your mic on? I don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> like all the white I, kids who, the laughs. all the white kids who sound black left the malls and just went to online gaming. Like that's literally every type of. You said the word black, and, and Brandon's behind you. So <laughs> Did anybody else feel But I also said the word white, and Brandon's behind me. So. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. I used to... Uh, yeah, you're Arkham. not here today for your blackness. You're, yeah, here. Yeah. you're definitely here for your outfits. <laughs> when you called me, I was like, oh, yeah. boy, I'll be there. He co-produces a bunch of shows with a guy named Mike Brown. Mm. Yeah. Yes, I he know. He was here last week. Oh, Kelly no. called him that earlier. I, I think... And I called, <laughs> called him Mike Lawrence. She tried shooting him. <laughs> oh, I, could oh could they ever like you know like that movie Heavy Metal? Yeah. Could they ever animate something like this? It's I sold it. I'm doing it. Oh shit. I'm doing it as an animated series at FX with uh, Adam Reed who uh, who created Archer. Right. Yeah. He's my partner on it. So he and I, I are. I want to be a voice. Can I be a voice? Yeah, I want to borrow you're, money. You're hired right now. You probably could be Ice Flow. <laughs> I want to be a fuck. Tell me what I gotta do. Yeah. Because I want to be a voice in this. Because I think you, that, that's it. You're in. This <laughs> is fucking. I mean, here's the thing. By too. the way, it's called Romance for Men. I don't know if we mentioned that. But the name is very deceiving. Yeah. Because you, you, when you told me about it, I was like, yeah. what? I go, oh, this queer wrote a fucking novel. Right. You know what I mean? Because I, you know, Dean's a friend of mine. I'm like, this fucking queer wrote a novel. And I, Romance yeah. for Men. And I came out into the porch. Yeah. And the sun was glistening on the Mississippi. Go fuck yourself, Dean. But then he sent me the book. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Well, the idea is, you know, it's like, what would a romance novel written for guys look like? And that's what this is. Just everything guys would want. And basically, there are a few rules. Like, no chapter longer than four or five pages. Every chapter with an yes. illustration. It, yes. It's meant to be like, you know, it, it's broken down into the length of time it takes you to shit. This book, first of all, should be in every dude's bathroom. <laughs> yeah, well, it's meant to be. It's shittable. It sh you need to have it. Because I'm reading it today. The thing about the gay guys. Yeah. Oh, here it is right here. This fucking cracked me up. Oh, look. Marsha Warfield from Night Court says <laughs> it's shittable. There right? you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rules, rules for being a gay boy. This yeah. is funny. If you don't... <laughs> If you don't go past the tip, not a gay boy. If you get no pleasure from fucking a dude and your heart is filled with hate while you're doing it, <laughs> you're not a gay boy. <laughs> if you're drunk enough, uh, if you're drunk enough whiskey, if you're drunk enough whiskey to legally blow a, a, a 2.8 or an 8 point, what is it? An 8? 0.28. 0.28. Is that bad? It's real bad. Oh, okay. Is that dead? You're close. I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> or higher, you're not a gay boy. If you let a dude fuck you, uh, you're a gay boy. But if you let a dude fuck you, you're a gay boy. If you enjoy fucking a dude, you're a gay boy. There's nothing wrong with being... You had to add this in. I know why you're adding yeah, this. Yeah, that's all right. Someone, some editor went, listen, all right, this is funny. I love it. <laughs> but you need to say this. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being a gay boy. <laughs> well, the, the funny thing about Ice Flow that I was kind of liking is that he's just got a lot of criteria for what makes you not a gay boy so that if you're watching Gilligan's Island while yeah. you do it it's so basically he's he's a gay boy he's just covering yeah. a lot of bases right. to, to qualify yeah so he he fucks dudes he gets I, his dick sucked I think so yeah like the rest of us like all of us yeah we just hide it yeah right Joe yes uh. <laughs> I would uh, I would probably have sex with Bailey J every time I see that chick. Oh, oh, you know, I, oh, I, I, I was trying to call so you good. last week, but you didn't answer your fucking phone. Who me? Yes. When was this? I called you um, Tuesday. I called you thir uh, Wednesday, 
I was trying to invite you to my barbecue because I know you came oh, into town early. Shit, yeah, I would have loved to have come. I was trying to invite you to the barbecue. Uh, and here's the problem with the barbecue. Can I talk about yeah. this? I got some problems with it, too. Oh, no. You, no, my problems. <laughs> what, what are your fucking problems? Well, I found out yesterday you threw your barbecue on topless day in New York. <laughs> and everywhere. International. Do you guys know about this? No. no. Sunday was Google image it. It was topless day. There was a parade from Columbus Circle down to Union Square. Naked women. Topless women. <laughs> trying to get, I don't know, they're acting like they want free rights because men can walk with their shirts off, which I don't think you really can in many places. And so uh, they did the whole <laughs> march. And there was just <laughs> topless women everywhere. And I'm at your dumb barbecue playing beanbags with Howard, who I got one fucking point. <laughs> I thought you had a good time. I had an okay time until Monday when I Google image <laughs> topless Sunday. Oh, yeah. It's wild. Listen, man. There's just tits running around New York City. And and I'm I'm running around. Shit. They're attached to legs. Let me see, Kelly. Here's the deal. Yeah, that was in 34th Street how the that whole day. I didn't see anything. It can't I mean, it was be somewhere. that good. Oh, shit. It is that good. <laughs> is it really? Well, dude, there's one pair of good tits. The rest of them... It looks like my sister. There's no <laughs> such <laughs> fucking volcano titties. There's no such Ugh. thing as a bad pair of tits, Bobby. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. Look at those tits. Well, oh, yeah. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not her tits, not oh, Kelly's. Sorry. <laughs> I'm talking even titties. Yeah, there's something about Mary titties right there. Yeah, yeah. there's a terrific boobs. Yeah, Can there Pass this around. Yeah, pass around. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, that's not bad. Other than that, we had my barbecue. Great. And yeah. here's the problem with having a barbecue when you have, you know, I. I, I Keith Robinson calls me up and says, listen, you're a piece of shit. If you don't have a barbecue in the next week, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. Pretty much. Because I'm one of the only guys that he, are not friends who have a house, who has a barbecue, has a backyard. So it's your responsibility. It's my responsibility. But I, I, I fear it because here's why. Uh, back in Boston, uh, Dave Fitzgerald, comedian back Fitzy. in the day. Fitzy. You know Fitzy. Yeah. He would have barbecues. And everybody would go, and you'd feel almost honored if you got invited, blah, blah, blah. And he died. Patrice used to have the barbecues. Right. And we all, he passed away, God rest his soul. Oh. Now I'm the guy having the barbecue. Uh, I'm just fucking like, am I, am I next? Are you next? Yeah. I feel, it's not final destination. I'm sorry, though. what it's did you say? <laughs> You're next. I'm, what do you mean I'm next? <laughs> well, I don't doing? know. You're very high strung. You're a nervous guy. You're yelling a lot. <laughs> The way it's been discussed on previous episodes, <laughs> I worry about you. <laughs> Mathematically speaking. <laughs> You're very promiscuous as a youngster. <laughs> what, fucking AIDS? I don't have AIDS. DePaulo have... has barbecues. He'll die. He's very high strung. All right, listen. Blood pressure. So we have this barbecue, but here's a problem with barbecues. You forget people. You, you invite, okay, dude, Keith, Norton, Colin. Oh, we're going to invite Amy. Okay, Joe and, and Kelly and... And, oh, Dan, and then, oh, he's not a town. And then all of a sudden you start remembering all these people you have to invite. Yeah. The party went from five people to 30 people. Now here's the problem. You know, I, I should have invited Mike. I, I, I should have invited you. Yeah. Right? I invited you Howard. You did invite Brandon. You didn't I give did me the invite. address. You didn't give me the address though when you talked to me on Saturday. Oh wow! Dude, you knew yeah. I had a zip code. Okay, <laughs> and this familiar. is exactly what I'm this fucking real. talking about. I'm familiar about. with that move. This yeah. is the exactly invite no address. Yeah. Here's Ben Classic. Bailey. Ben Bailey gets mad at me. Fucking Saturday night. He, 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 he I leave. He, and I, I was coming back. He didn't know that. He goes. He doesn't think I know about his barbecue. And I come back, and Keith's like, "Oh shit!" He talked about your barbecue. I'm like, Ben, of course you can come. I've known you for 20 years. You can come to my barbecue. You c just text me. Where's the address, you dummy? Yeah, why didn't you You could have just came, uh, I was, Michael. I was sleeping. I just came right now, but no. <laughs> <laughs> no thing is, like, I, you know. I forgot to invite fucking Adrian, who's a part of the show. I forgot it. Uh, which one is Adrian? The one on the left. He's that oh, thing. That yeah. Guy. Dude, no. I'm, a, I'm, a, you know, I'm about to do a wedding. <laughs> that that whole thing is that. Well, that yeah. fucking nightmare. Oh, yeah. That's all weddings are. It's like oh, once yeah. you crack open that list. And the thing is, like. Comics, like, we're used to not getting booked for things. But it's also, we're the fucking worst about not getting booked for things. But you did it smart, Mike, because you're getting married in a Poconos, aren't you? I mean, I married in my mom's backyard. It's like a small backyard. I it's can't great, have that nice. many people. Right. But it's great. like... I did, but, the, I did the... I eloped in Maui. And I, and I had a, a live video feed of the wedding. Your invitation oh, was dope. a website. So yeah. you went to the website at fucking 9 o'clock, and you watched me get married. So it was just you, and then me people and, watching. Me well, and my wife, too. Oh, she showed up? And then the Hawaiian, <laughs> dude that a Hawaiian dude that looked like me with a conch shell. Because you start <laughs> thinking of the things like this where you're like, oh, man, like I really want to invite this guy, but 
I don't know his girlfriend that well, so I'll invite this sad single guy instead <laughs> because I don't want to deal with the plus one. Like you know, yeah. it's you, it's weird, but like even yeah. f- like even for a barbecue, I, okay. Here's the problem too that you're going to run into, if you say, okay, I invited this many people, Ben didn't show up, uh, all, all these people didn't show, that were kind of like you know. Okay, Okay, but now, you know comedy. Most got, people just got, want to know that I got thirty-two fucking hamburgers, you motherfuckers. I got I got to buy thirty-two hamburgers, thirty-two steaks. Uh, I mean, thirty-two sausages, hot dogs. I got to make sure everybody has food. I can't just you know wing it. When, and if you show up, I don't have enough food for you. Oh, so yeah. now I got all this extra food because you're a dickhead and you just wanted the invite. You just wanted the fucking the, to know that you were invited, but you're gonna blow me the fuck off. That's why, I, you know, it's like Patrice and, and Colin got no fight about that shit. Well, it's even worse with weddings. What you got faced, because what will happen is all these people are uh, well, oh, RSVP, and then you got to pay. You pay by the head for people that say they're coming. And then, like, when we got married, people, I got calls all morning going, yeah, we're not going to make it today. And you got to pay what? for all those people. Yeah, and it's like, you know, yeah. it's, it's expensive. And it, like, it depends, too. Someone's going to be like, look, man, I got a guest spot on a bringer show, and I just, you know, there was going to be industry there. Like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like... <laughs> Like a Thanks. wedding is way more important than my fucking barbecue. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm offended that I didn't get an invite to your wedding. But whatever. Yeah. The thing is, <laughs> I just want the invite. Yeah. I'm not. I'm absolutely not coming. I fucking hate weddings. I fucking hate them. I, I just, you know, I, I like the gifts after, you know, you get from the wedding is awesome. All the fucking, yeah. you know. The envelopes of money. Yeah, the envelopes of money. Talking to the microphone. We're, <laughs> we're, we're having a Jewish. I, you can always yeah. tell somebody who, who's never been on radio before. Because yeah. they're like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're having a Jewish wedding. We're doing it for the gifts. I mean. That's Are you really? I mean, how no. long How long have you been married, Howard? Uh, 20. No. Uh, 93. Uh, 21 years. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Yes, I had to do the math. Boy, you, you look like f- a youth. You look young. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? No. You're How old are you? American, 45. Right? You're, 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 you're 45? Yep. So you got married out of the gate. I was with her six years before, since oh 87. God. Wow. So. <laughs> you guys are fucking sweethearts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Oh, my God. Well, we God. were, yes. What do you mean you were? You are now. Yeah, that's a real comic. <laughs> that, that that right there. That's a real comic book fan. The inability to let go of anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my collection. He's like, I went through my wife being a clone. I went through her dying and coming back. I went through all these different phases. I'm still with her. I like the original wife. Yeah. <laughs> I went through her when I, I went through her when the original artist left and Howard Porter started drawing her. I went through her. Do you remember no. the uh, playing with the asshole arc that yeah. we had? <laughs> <laughs> I like that arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> the dark butthole arc. Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the breaking of the dick arc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris Claremont wrote that one. <laughs> <laughs> it went on forever. But the inner monologues of the dick were great. So. <laughs> <laughs> just thought balloons coming out of a dick. <laughs> I love this fucking yeah, yeah. inside comic book fucking shit. Dude, Howard took me to the DC offices. It was one of the greatest moments of my life, which I can only say because it's before my wedding. Uh, <laughs> it was, we got to hold the Action Comics number one. Which the just, first appearance of Superman. Just wow. sold last night. Uh, a copy of that sold. Or, yeah, last night for $3.4 million. Oof, what wow. the fuck? Yeah. Wow. yeah on really? eBay, yeah. That's amazing. Wait, so the original yeah. Superman appearance was not a Superman comic? It's called action, action comic, but he was in every issue. Like, yeah. Oh, I see. I weeped. Like, I started to cry. Like, holding When you wept. held it? It's wept. like, it's like if, you, if you believe in religion and you hold the Bible. Like, that's the one that started it all. That's the first superhero comic book ever. Really? Yeah. And the and Batman one with the The first appearance cover. of Batman. Really? Yeah. How was the drawings? Was it shitty? <laughs> no, they're pretty good. Really? They're Wait, good? so is it just in a vault somewhere? They have a library where they have every issue, at least oh, wow. one copy. Every yeah. single comic book ever Jeez. published by, D- by DC, by DC. Wow. is in this one library. And you got to go there. Yeah. And you flipped out. Oh, it was amazing. Was somebody can, with you? Like, uh, there's some a curator, yeah. Stuffy lady. Yeah. But can a normal no, person an old not, man. Can't you just really? buy a ticket to go there? Or did you have an inside thing? No, it's in the offices. He works, you know. Yeah. Oh, he works oh. so I can't just go to Washington, D.C. and buy a ticket and go in there. No, no D.C. Oh, you think it's actually <laughs> in Washington, D.C.? Is it not in D.C.? Yeah, they just no, laugh at Joe so <laughs> hard. <laughs> you real, ain't no real dummy. You're nothing. You're nothing. <laughs> Joe's a dummy. Joe's a dummy. So where is it? Um, it's in New York. Well, it's, oh, it's wow. actually moving to LA. The whole yeah, company. Yeah. Are you? What are you going to do? Are do you work freelance at home, or you work, work there? Work from home. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's getting a divorce. Most of the yeah. artists, <laughs> don't, like, they, yeah, they yeah. can just ship their stuff anyway. He has yeah, a new yeah. story arc. Yeah, new. 
No, you. That's crazy that you're married for that long, brother. That's nuts. Yeah. And you guys, and you guys live in Connecticut, and you yep. do your art. You have your his office is amazing, by the way. I love yep. it. And 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 like you, a dungeon. Well, it's not really. A, it's very bright. I thought yeah. it was nice. Dude, we got to hold Mr. Freeze's gun from Batman and Robin. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. I was like, awesome. I hate that this shitty See, movie existed, but I went, I'm glad I, I got to hold this gun. I went to Marvel. Okay. I got, yeah, I got I've been there, too. It's awesome. And I love Marvel. I love, I love uh, you know, I'm probably more of an Avengers or uh, Iron Man and, uh, you know, fan. Yeah, right, same here. Right now, yeah, yeah. X-Men, but I go That's back and forth. Um, but... When I went there, it was kind of like they brought me into the rooms with the writers and the, and I, there's like two or three guys in a room and they're working on the stories and they're really excited to show you what they're doing and you're like, oh, this is great, that's cool, and oh, cool, and I'm checking it out. But I didn't, but I didn't get to hold anything. I didn't get to see, like I just went room to room and then I went into the Thor room and I, they let me hold the hammer, but... That was it. That wasn't a hammer. I think you what sound, it is is it going. Sounds like you had a fucking blast. I was. The, that sounds I, horrible. I, the thing was, I took pictures of the. I got invited to the Marvel office, and then Howard was like, "Let's go to the DC one that week," and I was right. like, "Sure." And I think because I was with Howard, they let us see more of like the cool shit. So I, I need to find somebody. F- All yeah. right. Because even uh, if you're more of a Marvel guy, yeah. like when you hold that Superman, it does. It doesn't matter. Yeah, like I wanted to see. Like I was like, where is there something I can. Be like, holy fuck. And I have like, you know, like I held Thor's hammer, but it's not here's even, a, it doesn't even weigh 800 million elephants. It was regular weight. <laughs> it's like, here's, a, here's a washcloth that Stanley jizzed on, and that's how he created the Hulk. You know? I'd yeah. fucking take it. I'd smell it. I'd do something. No, they it treated, has infinite powers. They treated me really good over there. They did. No, but great, I, yeah. I, you know what I did that I never saw? That I did a video. You know, the the apps. I love the fucking apps on the iPad. Well, reading a comic book on an iPad makes it so much easier because yeah. it takes you... Because a lot of... I'm stupid, and I don't know where to go sometimes. And this actually just goes to the next... Yeah, different panels. Yeah, in, the, uh, in the next panel. And uh, I did one where I was supposed to be inside the comic book, where at a point I would come on and go, hey, it's Robert Kelly. But I think they realized that uh, how not famous I am. I think somebody <laughs> sold them on me being more famous than I actually am. And then they realized, nah, uh, we're not putting that in the comic. Because I've been looking for it ever since. Like I was supposed to be in the iPad comic book app for Marvel. For Marvel. Oh. Yes. Where I'd come up with, hey, what's going on? And I say some stupid shit, and then it goes away. <laughs> <laughs> that stinks. That would have made me really. You lost out of that Marvel money, man. You fucked up. Well, I did. <laughs> you fucked up somewhere. I did it for nothing. I did it for nothing. I thought I'd just be awesome. I'm such a big fan. That would have felt so weird because I would be reading that comic and be like, "Oh, it's Robert Kelly, the guy who didn't invite me to his barbecue." I, Michael, <laughs> listen. Here's the deal, brother. I, I know. I'm just fucking with you, dude. I should have gave you Joe's spot if I knew it was Titty Day. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I really had a great performance at that barbecue. I had some big laughs. Joe, I was undefeated in the cornhole he board. Actually, he actually writes I ate three cheeseburgers. For the barbecues. I got a oh. smile from Max, <laughs> and uh, it was a pretty big day. Are you and Max on good terms now? I think we're good. Yeah, right, good. I, did, I wouldn't mind trimming his hair a little bit, but <laughs> my kid's hair is awesome. It's okay, dude. My kid. How old's your you? kid? It's fine. It's Fourteen months. Yeah, uh, that's about the time you got to start getting concerned about hair length. It's a little bushy. What do you mean a little bushy? What are you talking about? Both of you, you just wrote a book on fucking <laughs> a dude who fucks dudes, and it's okay if you have a Coke. I, uh, my He's, kid. That kid is growing hair for two people, all right? He's carrying the Rob, <laughs> the Kelly legacy of hair. <laughs> Uh, beautiful hair. Don't listen to these two. Do you think he's already concerned about the future of his hair looking at you? I th- no, I don't. But you, me and you both. <laughs> I know. Right? Oh, There's God, it's the worst. It's terrible, right? It's not terrible. How, how old were you when you first saw you were going here, bald? Here's when I miss hair. I never miss my hair yeah. at all. I w- I'm very content being bald, shaving my head, until we shot the pilot for Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll. Right. And we had to do a flashback. And they came in with one of these $1,000 wigs. Like, these wigs are someone's fucking hair. And it's on my head, and I had to get a haircut. So you have to go in and get a legitimate haircut. And I forgot how sexual a haircut is. When uh, a woman... Yeah, uh, when they're taking your head and moving When an around. old Italian man with <laughs> wet hands. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is it, the sexual about? It's hot breath on your neck. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's very... It's, it's just... 
I've missed it. I, you know, you, 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 you know, the soft touch and the the, the washing of the hair and yeah, the, the I neck don't know and that. the yeah, yeah, you don't know. You got Dominican some Dominican guys you just some, whisper in my ear. You got some <laughs> black guys making fun of you. Look at this motherfucking white nerd motherfucker. You want to fade, Dominican bitch? Dominican barbershop, man. Oh, he called himself Brandon up in here. He got a 401k and shit. This motherfucker wearing khakis. Fuck this motherfucker. They, they only like me because I give good tips. That's why they don't, they leave me alone now. Really? Yeah. Well, what's a tip? I like uh, my my hair because I'm 18, so I'll give him 25. Ooh, that is a that fucking is a, that's a good that's tip. A big tip, yeah. That's a I good bet this motherfucker votes and wow. shit. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker part of the electoral process. <laughs> I'm not really comfortable with the race humor, what was going on. Oh, Ferguson. I'm sorry, guy from Boston. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of serious issues happening right now. It's cool. But I, mi- I, I, when I was getting my hair cut and then I had it, and I remember on set, I'm like flip, like flipping it to listen. Like, what'd you say? And I was like, oh, I miss my hair. I miss. I How miss did you feel? It. You looked with that hair. Um, I felt. I felt like I looked great. Yeah. Yeah, I looked really good. And that's when I was really on the no sugars, no grain. Right. I fell off. Yeah. Uh, you're looking at me. So, <laughs> I love your acting. There's ability. there's no yeah. judgment. There's no judgment. No judgment. But I'm back on for. Uh, you it's are? been a week. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, great. Howard's <laughs> referencing you when he draws his next thing book. <laughs> That was me. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> he drew an issue in which the thing died. Uh, did you really? Yes. All right, we're going all over the place. Let me yes. just stick with this. Um, the barbecue situation, yeah. and it, it is a it is a fucked up thing because you don't know. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I can't have seventy people at my barbecue, and I can't invite seventy people and have fucking ten show up and have seventy. Dolls worth seventy people's worth of meat there. Did you buy beer and shit too, or I don't buy like alcohol. B-Y-O That's my thing. I don't oh, buy. Okay. I buy. I buy tonic and uh, sodas and waters. And if you want, you want booze, bring your own booze. So people can bring it. Yeah, people bring shit. And my wife, we make dessert and we we have food. And she, my wife's a great cook. Oh my god. Yeah, she's great. Well, so. comics are flaky too. Someone just texted you. I got booked on a better barbecue. I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, you know, I know there's a certain core group of friends that I invite, and then there's the my other friends outside of that who can actually come. But if I have a barbecue, just stop the fuck by. I'll, if there's not enough food, I'll make you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But don't <laughs> fucking hate, secretly hate me because I didn't invite you to my fucking barbecue. Do you feel like a lot of people are angry at you about this barbecue? Dude, I look, you know why I know this? Because I used to get mad at Dave when he Dave Fitzgerald when I didn't get invited. I felt you feel rejected because when me and you sit down and we're on a road or we have a talk or we, we do something, you feel like you're bonded and that you would be invited. And then, but you, it's it, like Patrice fought, didn't invite Colin because Colin said no. I didn't make it twice. So he's like, I'm not inviting him anymore because I know he's going to say no. And there's certain people that I don't invite because I know they're going to say no. And I don't really need them to say no. I don't de- want to deal with it keep inviting him fuck off you know i'm not doing that and then colin called him up and said why why don't you fucking invite me because you're gonna say no he goes that's not the point that's my invite that's my friend you're my friend right that i own that invite you need to fucking invite me i'm your pal and you gotta let me decide because what if i do want to go and you didn't invite me and it's, it's this weird friend psychological fucking boundaries thing that you gotta kind of be wary of you're you know? finding a lot of politics and barbecues that i never knew it really it is like, man mm. part of it you, have you thrown a barbecue oh yeah and has people gotten mad at you that they, yeah, yeah yeah and we're also like it, it, you know we're, we're always the family that throws every fucking holiday so thanksgiving christmas right. all that stuff and so we always have people over and then it you know it, it gets to be a thing like you mm-hmm. know who are you gonna invite who are you gonna and then people they, and it's what you're talking about it's i run into a lot of relatives who want the invite even though they're not going to be able to make it right. they know and then they get pissy when i know they can't come and then i get a call i don't get invited yeah i'm like yeah of course you're invited well i can't make it like, That's another yeah. thing. Like Christmas is terrible, especially if you got parents that aren't together anymore. Yeah, and you have to like separate your time, and then we are oh, you going to spend lunch with your dad, not with your mom? Blah 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 blah. It's fucking annoying. Yeah, it's a fucked up thing. That's why I think you're doing the best thing with your wedding. Yeah. Destination yeah. wedding. I don't get mad when people like I invited L.A. people out of that same formality. Right. You know, because I have a lot of friends who I met here who moved there, and I know they can't come and. If people say they can't afford it or whatever, that's I don't I don't get personally upset about shit like that. Like, yeah. you know, I found out my dad's coming. I'm happy. That's it. You your, know, d- your dad. Who do you have? Uh, both parents or just the dad? I have both parents, but you don't talk to your mom. I oh, know. I talk to my mom. I'm, I'm doing that at my mom's place. Okay, so your mom's place, but your dad, your dad and mom don't live together. 
Oh, no, they divorced years ago. But my dad has, like, never come to any of my TV tapings or anything. You're kidding me. No. Why? I don't know. <laughs> That's fucking sad. Did, yeah. Do you want him there? Yeah. And I he, made him my best man just so he'd show up to. The oh, <laughs> shit. oh my god! Yeah. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ! Holy Christ! Just <laughs> write, write a chapter Heart on that, you fucking yeah, yeah, creep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack Iceflow, <laughs> cunt face. Yeah. <laughs> you, that's yeah. his, is Jack Iceflow, his dad. <laughs> yeah, it was well, everyone. Yeah, dad. he's got he's got uh, father problems in the book. Jesus Christ, man! You, you write sad. it, he draws it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's very sad, dude. Well, I mean, it is it is what it is. Like he. He was a great father. Like, he raised us, and then he found a woman, like, afterwards, like, after raising us. He sobered up, and, you know, he was like, you know what? I'm good. And uh, we, we, we see each other, like, once or twice a year, and that's about it. Where does like, he live? He lives, now he lives in Florida. Well, the thing was, like, with the tapings, I remember, like, the first one I did, I was like, you're going to come, right? You're going to come, you know? Oh. And and he was like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll try. And then he told me he couldn't. And then by, like, the third one, I was just like, I accept it. Yeah. <sighs> this is what kills me now that I have a kid, I have a son. I'm like, I can't imagine. And I don't know. Maybe He's never been in New York. And I've been here almost eight years. I can't imagine rejecting my kid like that. Yeah. I, c I can't. I can't Man. imagine going, yeah, I, I'm not going to make it. I would fucking, yeah. I'd walk to New York if I had to, yeah. if I couldn't afford it. I'd fucking hitchhike to make sure I made it to your, your taping. Man, Do you want I, me to meet your dad in the next one? No. It's you sure? <laughs> well, I, like, I like having the empty seat in the front and then looking at the hallway. Because <laughs> one day he's going to clap. And <laughs> no, my dad's, my dad's like the Simpsons. I remember the good years. I know it's still on, and I just don't watch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my no, God. He's, he's cool. Like I talk to him like you know once, twice a month, and you know it, it is what it you is. You have a friendship. Yeah. You're, you're, you're friends now. You know, and the, and the thing, the truth is, like yeah. he had a, he had a stroke like a month ago, oh, and I and I, you know, he's not the healthiest guy. I thought about the idea of losing him, and I don't want that anger. I never want to be mad at him. Good for you, man. That's really cool that you you because you, you know what's sucks. the point of that? Yeah, and it is. It, I, I look. I don't know. I just I have a brand new kid, so I have no idea where I'm going to be when he's, yeah. you know, whatever your age is, thirty something. Yeah, thirty one. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe you. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, it was sad because my, uh, you know, I I didn't have a father for that time, and I had to go to like father son potluck dinner, and my my teacher had to oh, take that's me. The worst, yeah. Mm. yeah. You know, Jay Mr. D Mr. De took me. Mr. De Perzio. And he's, you know what I mean? It's like I'm there with all my student f friends in sixth grade, and everybody knows that Mr. Yeah. D. And then they were like, "Is he your dad?" I'm like, "No." He's my dad for tonight, and he was cool to do it, but it's still, it was like... The thing is, I like my, it was like when I was a kid, I, I had joint custody, so one week I was at my mom's, and one week I was at my dad's, and my mom remarried pretty much after the divorce, mm -hmm. and I never, like, my stepdad was just this dude that was there, because right. I still had my dad, and now I, like, my stepdad's still there, and I, I, I like him more now. Like, he's doing so much shit for the wedding and everything. Your and, stepdad. Oh, yeah. Well, here's the thing. My stepdad, too. I love my stepdad, you know, Larry, who's, like, the shit. I, and I've said to him before, if you if you took over right when the other one left, the original, if, you, if there was no other stepdad in between there yeah. who fucking abused me and my sister uh, for five years, if you, I'd, be, I'd be a different guy. I'd probably be listening to oldies, taking care of a lawn, having some working at like I'd be like the the assistant manager at a Home Depot somewhere, yeah. <laughs> you know, because I have people skills. Hey, how you doing? Can I help you with something? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the thing, right? over here. Uh, Gary, you want to get down here and help my friend out? Okay, I'll take care of that for yeah. you. Don't worry. My about dad that. not showing up to each TV taping means I'll have another one. You know? <laughs> It's just like that anger of like, oh yeah, yeah I'm gonna right write right. more fucking shit. I'm gonna, uh, you know. What about your parents? Your parents still around? Um, they're divorced. My father passed away a few years ago, but my mom's still around. Okay, yeah. Yep. Your father passed. Were you close with your parents? Uh, yeah, I talked to my dad pretty much every day. He oh, calls, so man. like, still feels twelve o'clock. Feels like the phone's gonna ring. My dad's asking how's work going and stuff. But, really? Uh, yeah. What did your dad do? He worked for. Uh, he was a truck driver, Texaco, uh, for many years. And uh, really? Yeah. Was he? Was he? He must have been like flipping out that you were uh, an artist, right? I mean, that's almost like having a prodigy. He was you know there, what I mean? When you yeah. have a kid, if my kid can draw like you, I'm going to be like, yes, <laughs> yes. He, he was very proud. And when he passed away, uh, I kind of lost. I realized I was, I was, uh, everything I was doing in art was to make him proud. 
right? So when he passed away, I was like, what's, why am I doing this? And so it was a couple of years of some down. You didn't stuff. like doing what you did? No. Really? Yeah. So. Wow. That's crazy, man. Here, you know, art with me, I'll tell you about, I, you know, I went to, uh, I went to Bunky Hill Community College. Yep. I know, but That's I went to Robin Williams that taught. Here. What? That's what Robin Williams taught. That was a fake movie. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> he was so good. <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> you had a scholarship, right? I got a scholarship for fine art, and I was going for you know uh, I was going to be an art teacher. That was my thing. But I found out that my my whole thing of art was uh, uh, was a people pleasing thing, a phony thing right. too. I remember when I was in second grade. My mother, and I was so fucking, like, miserable, and my mother sat down with me and got me this charcoal kit and a pad of paper, and she would teach me to, like, draw. And one day, we were drawing, I wanted to draw a Great Dane head, and I drew this head with her, but she helped me. She helped me. She basically, my mother could draw, and she drew this great, great, and she passed it off as me, and she showed everybody, oh, look what Bobby drew. And then I I brought it into school, my art teacher, you know, Mrs. Irving, who was a cunt to everybody, <laughs> right? Except for me, because she took me around. I had to go around every class with this drawing that my mother fucking drew. And it was me. So they thought I was a fucking prodigy. They thought I was this amazing artist. And I wasn't. And that went all the way to oh, high this school. This is a Robin Williams story. <laughs> <laughs> I went all the way to high school. And I'm, you know, uh, I I had to draw the cover of the uh, the calendar. Oh my god! And, and I I'm like I don't know. I just drew a head with a hand on top of You're it. You're pasta. Can you just do the Great Dane head again? Yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 it was fucking. But I realized I'm not a fucking art. I'm, I like art. I can do that. But I was that was something just to please my mom. Right, right. Just so we like I was like oh my god we're doing something together and. I, I walked around like a phony in the second grade holding up this oh, awesome no. Great Dane head. It's right. like Seinfeld with the race. I chose not to run. Like you should never have like drawn again. No? Joe? Okay. <laughs> when are you going back to Australia? <laughs> <laughs> is, that a, is that a bandana on that one? Well, what is I that? Know, it's a reference. But uh, it's funny because my mom did comedy comic and that's why I didn't want to do it. Uh, did you know that? That his mom was a stand-up comic? My mom was a stand-up I, for like over 15 years. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I did know that. Yeah. But where was she a comic? Florida. And was she, I'm, I don't mean to offend you, was she good? Was she a hack? Was she, was she funny? She wasn't a hack. She was good. I mean. What, it, what did she do? She, like, she emceed a lot and, and featured and shit. Uh, I mean, that was, was in the boom. <laughs> yeah. Kelly, don't you, you fucking, don't you call my mom Kelly Fistuka. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking shut your fucking mouth. I, I actually Dude. saw my Mike's mom do stand up. Was yeah, open what? mic, and she's she's adorable. Like really, like Mike's mom. You know, what my I mean? mom, my mom, like auditioned for Beard? that Nick Mom's thing. Yeah, uh, a couple <laughs> years ago, and I took her to some of the mics, and I hosted the audition that she did. So I got to bring up my mom doing stand. What a great! Cool. That's like a Robin Williams movie too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's gonna put a red. He nose made a lot on. of movies. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. no, but it was awesome. Uh, no, she was she was funny. She already had us when she started, so she just never had as much time as she wanted to right. pursue it and shit. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Did she? We, me, and her like open for Mark Marin twenty years apart, just wow. about. Oh that's my nuts. god! Yeah, wow. that's nuts, man. She knew Voss. She knew. A lot oh, of people. I feel yeah. bad for her. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel fucking. What are you doing? You want to go get a hamburger? <laughs> yeah. um, speaking of Robin Williams, you were on the show with him. Yes, and I, I did. I I, um, I called you again to you know to yeah. give you my condolences. He, he was a writer, uh, one of the head writers on the show, um, uh, the crazy ones. The crazy ones, yeah. Yeah, with Robin Williams. So I mean, you knew him. Yeah, I mean, I knew him pretty. Well. I mean, I knew him. I, I just met him uh, when we started doing the show. I met him on the pilot. So right. you know, I didn't. It's not like a, a long term friend of his or anything like that. But you know. He's a lovely guy, and I, I uh, grew up with him just like everybody else did, and so it was like meeting a legend. Yeah. And uh, and he was the opposite of what I imagined. Like, I, I had kind of imagined he'd be a very manic guy all the time, and he was the opposite. You know, he was very quiet and very gentle guy and could get really funny and be animated, but was just really sweet and just, you know, enjoyed uh, making everybody laugh. You know, he would talk to anybody. He was just a genuinely, genuinely nice guy, and it was... It was shocking when um, I heard the news, as it was for everybody, I guess. And, and it really hit me very hard. And, and, you know, and I was trying to figure out, I, you know, and I thought, well, maybe it's because I 
you know, know them a little bit, but I realized I think it's more just that I grew up with him, you know, like it hit everybody because it's just, you know, his movies were the touchstone movies of, of yeah. my life. And, and you know, and I think you're right because it did. I don't get affected by those celebrity deaths really whatsoever. You know, Michael Jackson died and I was like, I, yeah, I, I love Michael Jackson, his, but I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? But yeah. but this one, actually, I did. There was something I was like, oh, God. Uh, what the fuck, man? Why is this sad? Why am I sad about this? Well, did you take his psychology class at Bunker Hill? He wasn't. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe. That was a movie? That's not real. I no. did I did watch World's Greatest Dad after it happened. That's a That's, great movie. Oh, terrific. You know, uh, what's funny ironic. is the night after the news hit about it, that mm -hmm. night I got a little drunk and was sitting in my office and that's the movie I put on. I sat and watched World's Greatest What is Dad it about? It's about you it? the World's Greatest Dad. Bobcat's Dad. movie. Yeah. Um, I, it's I, about I, he's he's the father of this kid who is just the biggest shit. It's the best portrayal of a teenager I've ever seen. This kid's like the fucking worst. Like just this horn dog asshole kid. Yeah. And the kid um, dies of autoerotic asphyxiation. And Robin Williams decides to make it look like a hanging and writes a suicide note for him like you did with your mom's art and uh, puts it in the pocket. Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, uh, what the that went dark. Yeah. I hope your dad never calls you. <laughs> I hope he never comes to a show. I hope you win an Emmy and he goes, boo, and it's him in the audience. <laughs> and then boo Warns. no. Um, but... <laughs> No, but he and the and the note the note gets passed around yeah. and read and it becomes this inspirational thing and the whole thing is that the whole school sees the kid as this wonderful amazing person after the fact. So it's the the whole movie is about how we obsess with death and we make people who are terrible seem brilliant. Wow, that's cool. I gotta check that out. That's it's great. Really good. Bob, it's on Netflix. Bobcat directed it. And I think wrote it. Too. Yeah, he, he did. Yeah. yeah, he wrote it. Yeah, he's yeah. so fucking good. Man. He's great. Yeah. He, he, I just watched his uh, Sasquatch movie, and it, for that type of movie, I, I thought it was really good. I thought it was, uh, it was fucking well done. You know what I mean? He, the, the thing with this was that the 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 posters and everything. Yeah. You just, I mean, because let's be honest, like Robin Williams in the last few years, like did a lot of bad movies. He did. I mean, not, I'm not being an asshole, but mm. so when you would see a poster, you just and the way the poster looks, you're like, oh, this doesn't look that good. And then you see the movie, you're like, oh, this is great. That because that's why I didn't see it. You're absolutely right. The yes, poster looked like a globe, right? yeah, or like is it like, fucking yeah. an RV, you know, movie yeah, 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 or whatever. Yeah. I was like, Flubber, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not watching this shit again. And the name of yeah. it, yeah, yeah. So you, I thought it was definitely something other than what it was. Yeah, that sucks. I wonder if that. If they could have, if the publicity went wrong on that or something happened, why, why, I don't know, why would they because do that? Because it was a dark it's a film. It's really dark subject matter. Yeah, and yeah. they needed yeah. to sell the film. Yeah. So how do we sell it? Well, let's get Robin Williams zany in yeah. the front and then... Yeah, but that, that, that wasn't selling anymore. You know what I mean? No. Robin zany, hey, I'm in an RV. Who uh, wasn't selling? It wasn't happening anymore. And they, I mean, that's what sucks about it, too. It really sucks that he killed himself. Because if he died regular... It would be sad, but the fact that he took his life as a comic, we all know, even in this business, you know how sad it can get. You know how fucking, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Is it, It's never going to be good again. It's never going to be good at all. Am I ever going to make it? Am I ever going to get back to where I was? Uh, people don't like me. And now with social media, it's fucking ridiculous how many times your self-esteem can take a bashing. Yeah. Uh, and it's like, how much can we take? How much you suck? How much uh, you're terrible? And then your own voice is in your head. And then, w you know, where your career is, oh, yeah. you know, his sh the show just got canceled. I mean, he went back to TV for the first time. Yep. And since Mork and Mindy, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that and, was the first and, show. And it gets canceled. Yeah. Where do you go in your own brain? How do you, you haven't made a movie, that movie that you thought you were probably making a great decision to make this Man. Bobcat movie where it's going to be Indian. And that doesn't fucking, it's not. He was about to do Mrs. Doubtfire too. And, and I was reading. Like, now we know why. Now we know. Okay. I mean, but that, I mean, that's a part of it. Like that idea, like you, you look at like, and I'm sure it'll be okay, but you look at the Dumb and Dumber 2 trailers. 
Oh, they just look man, like sad yeah. old men. Like it's kind of mm. painful to watch. Yeah. Like the they paid them a lot shit. of money to go back to that. No, they I know, to, but Jesus. it's like you can't That's... sometimes. Here's why they shouldn't have done that. They already did it. There was a part two with other people. The prequel. There's a prequel. Right. It's, yeah. a prequel. Yeah. The, the, it's it's they did the prequel. You can't now. You're going. It's but even the trailer is just them rehashing the old jokes. Yeah. You know, it's like... It's like eight then, of the same jokes. Yeah. It's really crazy. That's why Anchorman 2 is. Anchorman 2 is pretty much just a redux of the first one with like yeah. a few Talladega Night shit in it. That's all it was. That's why yeah. I hated it. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah, it was fucking terrible. That Anchorman fight 2. scene where it was just like, you know what? You know what? The first one didn't have that this one does? More celebrities. It's yeah. like, but it's yeah. not... I'm, I'm, I'm fucking sick of this trend of like celebrities... Being reg- being just like us, and they're cool. Like I'm glad like the the ice bucket challenge raises a lot of money, but that whole idea of look at them, they're pouring water on themselves too. Like the like all the stuff like the skits on Fallon and shit, where right. it's just like look at them now. Like Ellen taking pictures of people eating pizza, and it's like a meme. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we went from poor Rob Williams' death <laughs> to your fucking view on Ellen's memes. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's all linked. Uh, it's all linked somehow. Because when I kill myself, that'll be why. Uh, well, I've never. Here's the thing: is I, I feel bad because it's like killing yourself. I, I I feel like there has to be a road to that. There has to be a trail of popcorn somewhere. Yeah. Somebody close to him had to know something. I, I don't think you just secretly kill yourself do you i mean i mean don't you isn't there like a i feel like shit i don't know man sometimes the depression like it can like my mom i mean this is getting really personal but my mom like about three weeks ago she was living with my grandfather um hang on let me make sure you yeah, she was living with my grandfather because my grandmother passed about two years ago she's down there taking care of him yeah just disappeared she just disappeared with my grandfather he didn't he couldn't get in contact with me because she took me out of her, his cell phone He's an older, like he doesn't know how to use phones and shit. Yeah. I, I, when he told me that, I freaked out because I know my mom is depressed, but that's like, that's when you, like, you don't really know what someone, how bad they are. And luckily, you you know, we found her and she's okay, but. But do you know what happened? She just had like a breakdown, man. It was fucking. Where'd they find her? Well, she, she just like hauled herself up in a hotel. Like she just Uh. disappeared and like it was. I mean, you just, sometimes you don't know. Even no matter how close you feel like you are to somebody, you just don't know how down they are and clinical depression's a whole yeah, other thing i mean it's not you know it's not just being down it's just you know it i think it just feels hopeless when people hit that yeah. part and you, you know you never you never know and the career stuff never goes away i mean that's the thing his sitcom got canceled mm-hmm. he was gonna have to go back to like and even though you know all the memories that people have of him are from like 15 years ago are from 10 years ago are from their childhood you know the genie from aladdin and his career was not going the best when... Do you think it was more that? Or do you reckon it was the diagnosis, though? It could have been... Ever, you, we have no idea. But I think... I think um, look, there was Parkinson's involved. There was drug addiction, I believe, involved, right? Or well, he, he's been sober for a long time. But, okay. But, but, so, yeah. Yeah, but being sober is hard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it's you not, would not... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's not an easy thing to stay sober, you know? Because you, you have sober from this, but then you have the underlying causes. Mm-hmm. You have the, the food, the, the, the sex, yeah. the, all this other stuff that you're fighting too. So it's a fucking nightmare to, you know, to deal with that. And then to deal with the, you know, like, look at Billy Crystal. Same shit. Billy Crystal was the motherfucker. Now he's just not. He's just a different generation. And, and he might be again someday. I mean, look at Matthew McConaughey. He wasn't shit. He was making garbage movies. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he got older and he got uglier and now he's making, he's winning Oscars and Globes and Emmys. Really yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. What'd you well, say? He didn't really get uglier. Yeah. He looks better. He's, he looks he's better, mostly. but not, he used to be perfect. Hollywood, quote unquote, mm. perfect. Well, thanks. I mean, when look at all those rom coms. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're leaning on a girl in a poster. Yeah. It was like fun. No one knew what a podcast right. was 10 years ago, and look what it's done for so many comedians, including yourself. You never know how the tide's going to change. Yeah. That's all I have. Changes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it, Joe. <laughs> but it's like, I mean, you, your, your dad passed away. That must have fucking killed you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And how long are you over it now? Are you cool? Um, are you. 
Is no, it still no. affecting your art? He I just mean, said every day he thinks yeah, he's I calling. Think the, I think the phone's gonna ring. My, it's gonna be my pop. But uh, we'll it's rewind easy. it. Yeah, but I, but 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 uh, I know I understand. Jesus Christ, Joe! Can you not <laughs> scream it? This is the happiest is podcast a, yeah, ever. Yeah, I was gonna say this is the darkest yeah, yeah. episode. Jeez, well, whatever. if you didn't bring up your fucking mom missing, it was well, going back <laughs> up. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna try to bring it back to this fucking creepy book that this fucking <laughs> fucking nerd wrote at the end of the table. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Bobby. Yeah. When you were at Bunker Hill, was there a really handsome janitor? <laughs> <laughs> and he was super, super smart. <laughs> Listen, dude, yeah, that guy was a genius. Yeah. Bobby, I want to help you learn some things. <laughs> 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 oh, I, just, I saw a documentary about the school, and it's there's a lot of characters there. <laughs> well, you even look at, like, but look at how Robin, I mean, you know, the, 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 there was the stealing. I'm going to bring it up. I know I shouldn't, but... Like that, he probably when he was rising as a comic, he probably yeah. didn't have the respect of his peers. That probably fucked. Well, him. here, look. It, let's be honest. Con, you know, he was known to be fucking a thief. Yeah. He was known to be a joke thief in the community. He takes stuff, but with his comedy, he would, you know, he would he would hear somebody. He would you know try to do stuff in the moment. When you did stuff in the moment, sometimes you take people's stuff. Look, I don't. That's just a, that's a fact. But you I'm know, just saying that's a fact. So, so how many barbecues do you think he was being invited to by other comics? I'm, 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 I'm being I'll tell honest. you. I'll tell you this. When I, he was one of the nicest human beings I've ever met in the business. I met him at the cellar one night. He came in, sat at the table. Robert, hi, how are you? Very nice, awesome. Started smashing, calling Quinn. Me and Keith were laughing, and it made him do it more. It kind of like we were revving him up, and Colin was getting pissed. Which made us laugh even harder because he was like, "Oh, I'm Colin Quinn. Who oh, am Colin Quinn? No, no, I don't. I don't know that <laughs> and we were like, "We would, yeah, yeah, that's Colin." He was like, "Oh, I'm Colin. Hey, Colin, how are you doing? Tell the prompters." Colin was like, "Ah, that's funny, Robert. Yeah, let's give it up. If I can cocksack, I'll fucking murder you." You know. <laughs> the next, and that's it. But the next time I saw him, he walked in, and he's like, "He." I was downstairs waiting to go on. He's like, "Hey, what's going on?" I'm like, "Oh shit. Hey, what's up?" He's like, uh, "How's the show?" I'm like, "It's good." I'm like, "I think you think I'm somebody else." He's like, no, I know you. I was just saying hi. He was literally remembered me and was saying hi to me, and it's fucking Robin Williams. I mean, who the fuck does that? Most stars, when they can be dicks or ego yeah. or yeah. used, like, be famous, they choose it. Yeah. He didn't. Yeah. He did not choose to act like he could have. He, he was like 10,000% nicer than he needed to be. Yes. You know? And yes. Yeah. I mean, you know, he would talk to every day. He would make a point of asking after, you know, the crew and yeah. how's your kid and yep. how's your dog and all of that. He had no reason to, to do that. And do you yet think some of it was guilt in making up for old sins? No, no, I think no, he's I don't. Just I, think, I think he's just a nice guy. And, and I mean, but look at how he made it. I mean, that has to be remembered too. I'm just, I'm not being. I know I'm being the devil's advocate, but the way that You're he just treated being a other Deadville, not no. an advocate. Of anybody. <laughs> but the way that he originally made it was through other comedians' material. And I'm sure once he got really not big, totally. there was guilt. Not 100%. Not 100%. But I mean, let's that's not just a, say he took somebody. But that's know. a part of it, though. Well, that it, is a it's part a part of, of his history, but I don't think that I mean, there's a story anymore. of someone throwing him down the stairs because he did a bit on The Tonight Show from a dude. Look, I don't think... Look, yeah, absolutely. I understand that, but I don't think that was part of what... I don't think he carried that around with him. I really don't. Because he showed up at the club. I mean, there's a 1991 Rolling Stone article that they published, uh, republished after his death. And it talks about, this is 91, so this is already, you know, at least 10 years after San Francisco and all that, after Mork and Mindy even. Um, and he stands outside of the club because the comics don't want him in the room. Well, I, I okay. I, I mean, I think that generation, of, I'm not in that generation of comics. Yeah, yeah. He's Robin Williams to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but I think maybe his generation of comics have that for him. I would, I, would, I would say yes to that. But he walked in here and was welcome anytime, and he was just a sweetheart of a guy. And I don't think he, you know, I mean, 
By the mid '90s, wasn't he strictly just an actor anyway? He barely like he did a special every like mm. what three he did the four Broadway years? special in yeah, He did the Broadway he would special. He would do USO like, stuff. He would do you know yeah. Yeah. he would occasionally go. Yeah, up, he, he did a, a Broadway but I'm special. Some of that could he have had been. way too many bottles of water on stage. Yeah. It really bugged yeah. me, yeah. <laughs> and he still sweated too much for me to watch but like some a of full that, hour of his comedy. No, some Cat Williams sweats the most out of everybody. He sweats. well, I mean, some of those black lady comedians sweat a lot too. But some of that could have been him. Cat Williams, fucking come on. You ever see a Cat Williams special? Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Ten minutes in, he's soaking. It's he's like got he seven towels on It's stage like he did an ice bucket challenge <laughs> fucking ten minutes into his set. But they're not related. Yeah. How do you Cat sw- Williams and Robin Williams. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Joe, Joe is back. fucking on fire. But there, there are the stories of him just writing checks for people. So I did. I do feel he, he did feel the guilt. <laughs> and I think uh, I, some of that. Now you're just being a dick. No, am no, I? Well, I no, 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 no. I'm, I'm kidding. You're attributing it to guilt. It may not be guilt. I'm, I'm also. I was raised by a comic. So when I in 1991, I watched Hook, and my mom walked past and went thief. All right. Really? That's how oh, I was. Ra- all right. <laughs> that is a different perspective. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. embedded in your mind. Like. Yeah. That's she was talking about Rufio, doing. though. The yeah. Rufio. <laughs> <laughs> he lifted a lot of bits. <laughs> he stole the sword. Didn't Jim uh, take Robin to meet his parents? Uh, and Robin was uh, telling his parents how funny Jim was and talking Jim up. And he didn't have. I, Jim I, who? Norton. Sorry, Jim. Yeah, Norton. he really? spoke about it on yeah. O&A about how yeah. he'd barely seen him do stand up, but Robin knew. Robin was saying to Jim Norton's parents, like, your son is so funny, and his parents were like, oh, beaming. And yeah. Jim was like, I know he didn't even really was able to watch my set, but he knew how much that would have meant to my parents to be like, our boy, Robin Williams, is talking about this about our yeah. boy. Like, it was, it's wow. a beautiful story. So he stole the compliments. They weren't even his compliments. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's hey. sad. It's sad. It's, it scares me about the business because you think about all he did, and if the business or where he was at had something to do with this, Jesus Christ, where are we? You know what I mean? But it seems to me that there's a he's a mentally ill person yeah. to a degree that most of us, I don't know you guys personally, probably don't understand. I mean, he seems like he's a clinically sick person, mentally, more than career and stuff. It yeah. seems to me, I don't know. Uh, yeah, people that are clinically depressed, I mean, you know, a, a, a lot of times it you know they don't even have to have giant career setbacks you know as entertainment industry icons to yeah. you know have problems so i heard him his show getting canceled really fucked him up though yeah he was upset i heard that was really like what the fuck and why did the show get canceled was it ratings was it it was ratings but it was like you know it it had the the sort of dubious honor of being the highest rated show of the year to get canceled <laughs> so oh, wow. uh, you know which is kind what? of a a, a bitch, but um, what channel was it on? CBS. CBS. So that was the problem. I mean, you know, on CBS they have Big Bang. They have, you know, they have all these sort of like you know they're the, the, top, the sitcom the top guys. Comedies. Yeah. But they're all those have been running for years, though. That's kind of like yeah. You know, do you think that his fame? He thought he could carry the show for a couple seasons at for least. For people who don't know that, that's Chris Scopo. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> he says one thing a show. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Talk more. Like know. his uh, <laughs> his fame could have carried the show. Like he thought he was that famous where he could you know a couple like seasons. Like the show was yeah. on his shoulders, kind of thing. Well, I think he felt responsibility. Yeah. Because you know it was certainly promoted, but as it wasn't Robin's just Robin's show. But yeah, but it, it was an ensemble show. He I had mean, an ensemble show. Yeah, it was yeah. famous. Sarah, um, yeah, yeah. Sarah, Sarah Michelle Mich- Geller. Sarah Michelle oh. Geller. Oh Jesus Jimmy, Christ! Jimmy Walk, Hamish Linklater. I mean, there was you and, know, and the brother from um, from um, uh, from uh, everybody loves Raymond. Oh, Brad, oh, Brad Garrett. Garrett. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We brought Brad on. Yeah, no, there were there were a lot of people. It was an ensemble show. Yes, and uh, you know, I, I look, I was. I was very sad that it got canceled. We, you know, certainly hoped it wouldn't. Right. But um, did you know it was going to get canceled? No, no. I mean, not until I mean, we knew it was on the bubble. We didn't right. know whether or not you know it was going to get picked up or not. Right. But um, I think we were all holding out hope that you know it would get picked up. Right. But um, highest rating show of the year, and it got canceled. No, it was the highest rated show that got canceled. canceled. That got canceled. So of the yeah. shows that got canceled, CBS though is a hard a hard network to be on now because it has so many hit shows, yeah. and they're not. You know they got shows. They're not they're not doing that many shows because they already have hit shows. And if it's not up to par, they're fucking just douche them. They only let they me on for five minutes. For who? What were you on? <laughs> the late show. Um, it was a, it was Letterman, a Letterman joke. Oh, Letterman small, joke. <laughs> small indie oh, show. Sorry, I threw some money at. <laughs> I was on fire for a moment there. I thought <laughs> I could miss. Yes. Yeah, and you're the reason he's leaving. Sorry. So I went and bragged. Uh, so. Jeez. <laughs> but what, what time do you have to leave? 
245. 245, okay. Why don't we take a quick break? You're going to break on my bomb? Yeah, we're going to break on your bomb. Can you, can you throw the bandana over to him, please? It's, it's right, right on your mic. Oh, right? I just said something that bomb, too. I'll, I'll keep oh, it. Oh, they just keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Tell us more about your mom. Bomb you, bandana? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you bring that back to your mom? <laughs> Listen, I have. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll be back. We're going to do uh, you guys watching live. Stay tuned. We'll be back in five, which is really 15 minutes. Mm. And then because uh, the science is five. But we always take 15. And uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes, all right? At DraftKings. They're, they're crowning a millionaire. They're crowning millionaires all season long. All season, people are going to become millionaires at DraftKings.com. You could be next. Okay, so here's the deal. DraftKings.com is, is bigger than ever, okay? The winnings are bigger. The events are bigger. There's bigger millionaires. It's incredible. Use promo code KELLY. And you'll get free entry into the week one $5 million kickoff bash. Enter Kelly for free entry now at DraftKings.com. That's DraftKings.com. Make sure you go to uh, Riotcast.com. Check out all the other podcasts. We have amazing shows. We uh, are one of the funniest uh, podcasts. Networks out there. And I'm not just saying that because I fucking own half the fucking network. Tee hee. We got Hammer Fisting. We got Davey Mac Sports Program. Jim Florentine Show. Why You Suck in Bed. Weird Medicine. Why My Wife Hates Me. Mad Scientist Party Hour. The Jersey Jerks. The Bailey J Show. And of course, the You Know What, dude. And uh, now we have the new show. What's the new show? Um, Band Geek, which is fucking phenomenal. Uh, it, it's really killing it. And we got two more new shows coming out uh, in the next month that we'll be announcing. We're very proud to announce. Uh, I'm very excited about. Yet. What's that? Can't say who it is yet. No, can't say who it is yet. And your mic's not on. Um, but, anyways, um, so make sure you go to radcast.com and check out all the other shows. And if you want to support the show, we have a donate button right on the YKW Dude site. Thank you to all the people that donate uh, monthly. Um, all that stuff goes back into the show. Uh, microphones, cords, whatever the fuck we have to buy. You guys buy it for us because you're the shit. Um, so you can hit that button right through PayPal, credit card, whatever. $5, $10 million, whatever you got. Um, also, we want to make sure you go to the Amazon link on our page. If you're going to buy anything off the internet, I don't care if it's colostomy bags or pens, you can buy it through that link. We make money. Uh, you get your shit, and Amazon gets a little piece, and everybody's happy. And we also have Gamefly.com. If you're a video gamer, and you can use our code. What's the code? Dude. It's dude. If you type in, if you go to Y, what is it? Gamefly.com slash YKWD, and use the code word dude, you get, uh, what is it, 30, what is it? 15-day two-disc two trial. Uh, right from us here at YKWD. So uh, check that out. And then go to tweakedaudio.com for all your headphones need. Don't go and buy these fucking beats. Don't spend $200 on fucking headphones that you're going to forget on a plane and then kill yourself because you can't afford to get headphones. Go to tweakedaudio.com. They're inexpensive headphones, but they're not cheap. They're well-made. And th for a very inexpensive price, they got all kinds, mic, not mic, different colors. They're in-ear. They're unbelievable. And right now, if you go there, you get 33% off. That's 33% off. Free shipping and lifetime limited warranty. If you use the code word, dude, that's D-U-D-E, at checkout. A 33% off, free shipping, and a lifetime limited warranty. Code word, dude, tweakedaudio.com. Oh, banana, thanks. Um, we're good with this? We're good with that? What else? We're good? All right, we're back. All right, we're back. I'm going to eat a banana. I'm going to eat a banana while we're doing this. Okay. Okay. All right, you want times? Uh, no, I just need the first one. You need the first one. Yeah. Did you get the first, um, Scope, did you get the first one? Yeah, we got it. You already got it? We got it, Robert. Okay. Looking good, okay? You ready right, to roll? All right, let's go. All right. Um, the most annoying thing in radio or podcasting is somebody eating a banana. <laughs> <laughs> into a fucking You're enjoying it a lot. I this is going to be like into a sure. <laughs> <laughs> into a $400 microphone. Mm. 
Na 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 na. Yes, Kelly's leaving the show. Mm. Kelly is leaving the show, which I'm very sad about because Kelly has been uh, my right hand woman here on the show for many years. I love being here, Robert. Well, apparently, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> not enough to fucking where, stay. Where is she going? I'm just going back to Australia for six months. Taking oh, some sh- comedy classes. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're paying you, for it. I thought you said comedy classes. <laughs> yeah. She says for six months, but there's no way she's going back to uh, Australia where everybody's going to treat her nice and she's going to be, oh, you're in America and people know her from the show and she's going to get some accolades and she's going to and she's gonna be like, why the fuck am I going to go back to these shitty people <laughs> yeah. and be a waitress when I can live at home with my parents or my mother, eat as much as I want and fucking have fun in my home country and do comedy. Not deal with snow and polar vortexes. Right, <laughs> right. No, no, no. But uh, every time I'm out of the city for like... Did you say no, no, no? No, no, no. She's, she's stuck on Mary Poppins. Yeah. Uh, Robert. No, when I uh, <laughs> no, when I was in Italy, I um, like by day like six, I fucking... You want... Um, all you want to do is get out of New York. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as you're out, you're like, i got to go back. Yeah, it's no, horrible. It like, does. I it is a great city. It. It's a, it, it really does get into your veins like a fucking drug, like a disease. Mm. I miss um, it. I love coming back. Any opportunity. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it is great. But, um, you know, I, don't, I just don't think you're going to come back. But whatever. I hope you do. If you come back, you're going to come back to the show or are you done with the show? No, no, no. I'm coming back. I'm reverse of Bobby. I think you are going to come back, and I hope you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so we're a complete reverse. Ah, uh, Joe. <laughs> Where are you? Yeah, <laughs> microphone, Howard. Yes. <laughs> Kickstarter to raise money to bring her back. I thought it'd be great. I'm doing a Kickstarter to pay her Australian rent. <laughs> <laughs> she rent she just she just does this show, but with like seven koala bears. <laughs> 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 well, we get a lot of intern. If you're looking to be an intern, we have, of course, we have Adrian, but sometimes he can't be here, which uh, fucking annoys me. But <laughs> Adrian. But when you are here, I love you. But when you're not here, it bugs me. Why don't you go uh, back to Australia, Adrian? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's from fucking Long Island. Uh, Where are you from? Jersey. 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 Sorry. Jersey. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Big <laughs> difference. <laughs> Um, yeah, we they pronounce the N word differently. <laughs> two different places. <laughs> That's great. Of course, yeah. Kelly loved that. She yeah, thinks Brandon is Mike Brown. Australia, <laughs> Kelly, Kelly loves everybody. Uh, Crikey, I thought you were Mike Brown. <laughs> we have uh, Freddie uh, is looking to intern. We have a girl named Sharon who's looking to intern. Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we have a guy. Uh, I've never uh, met a hot I don't know who. Uh, That's we have a, what's great about it. Sharon uh, just no, a sh- cigarette out of her mouth. We have a. Sharon uh, Stone. We have a guy, uh, Dupee, Dupu, Dupu, Dupu Gill. Oh, I, I know him. him. He's a. He's Dupu a open Gil. I know him. Yeah. Um, we also have a. Uh, Bobby, I'm going to have to say that all these people, I have to uh, vet them. And um, anyone who gets to you has to go through me. Wait, okay? you just called someone else an open micer? Uh, yeah, what's wrong with that? <laughs> And we have this You're guy. Open we have a guy named Derek. Oh shit! He's so Damn. so concerned with statuses. What's wrong with that? You just use the status. Oh jeez, what's going on? I do I'm open mics. <laughs> I'm just Mike, trying to Mike's fucking. Firing. I'm a, what are you firing shots? At? I know. She's leaving. <laughs> how how far do you want her to go? She's but going out the door. In case you want her to right leave out. tomorrow? What the fuck, dude? She's already leaving. Because yeah. you know why? Because if I had said he's a comic, then someone would have said. Uh, if I had said, oh yeah, I know him. He's a comic. Someone would have gone. He's an open micer, and I. Probably know he listens to the show and I didn't want him to feel kind of bad with someone, you know, put a, pushing him down. Is there a so. bandana for someone who doesn't yeah. know when to stop <laughs> talking? <laughs> By the way, Kelly's the reasoning. She goes, I thought if I said comedian, someone would call him an open micer. Someone would have So I him. called him an open micer. <laughs> no, I bet. They I didn't want anyone to talk it. bad about him. So they I preemptively talked bad about Joe, him. they would have said it with venom. I said it in a oh, nice shit. little way. Someone oh. else would have Wait, shot stop, this unarmed black guy. We're not recording. Why is that fucking not working? Oh, uh, jeez. We haven't been recording at all. <laughs> oh, good. Is that true? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Oh, I had some great Kelly zings. Yeah. Well, well we missed them all. <laughs> oh. No, we have, we have, I have three backups. Of course we got it. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> also, we could see any other Do episode we previously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have, we have three backups. Plenty right? of we get every, Kelly zings backups. We'll we, have every, we have three different things wrong. Because I've fucked up so many times recording the show, <laughs> yeah. I hit the wrong button. But I've done that 19 times, so I have a, an archive over here, and then we have the audio backup from the video. So, so those the last five minutes will be in the show? It will be in the show. I just want to know. Oh, should we offer it as like a dollar download? <laughs> Extra. <laughs> the only part that will be missing is Brandon talking about his mom missing, ironically. 
<laughs> no, that's it. No. I just, no. Guys, the man has <laughs> suffered. <laughs> <laughs> on each other. Watch the so news. Fun. Don't you know what's happening in Ferguson? He's suffered enough, for God's <laughs> sakes. When I go home, I'm just going just gonna to eat popcorn and uh, cry. Mm. Like a regular night. <laughs> <laughs> it will be. <laughs> it's a regular night after your sets. Sounds like you fun. I can only I'm afford popcorn. You and I'm sitting on my chair's couch watching Simpsons and, and just drinking beer. Who do you live with? I live by myself. You live by yourself? Yeah. Where? It's a beautiful, story. beautiful apartment. Oh, yeah. Joe's been to my apartment. He's well, how did you get your own yeah. pad? I work. What do you do? I do? I'm a manager for a private test company. What the fuck is that? What? What do you do? What are the still? I fucking uh, I'm, I supervise all the teachers that go like to different sites and teach the product and shit. So I, I'm the manager of like seventy instructors. So you took a day off to come here today? Yeah, that's crazy. I work from home, so I can kind of. Wow, do that work. that's fucking. So you're really a white guy. Uh, Weren't you a guidance counselor <laughs> too? Well, that's why I got my master's, and yeah, I did that, and then I stopped Teacher? doing that because I got a good opportunity to not work with kids. Uh, Bobby, like, that's <laughs> so racist. What? He's, because he I'm says he has a job man, and he's successful, and, a, a and you go, guy. boy, you're so white. I mean, that I, is really I, venomous. That could even be funny. I mean, I was just trying to be funny. Well, I just don't think it's funny with what's going on in Ferguson. <laughs> you, just, <laughs> you just want to say Ferguson. Are you I trying love to, saying uh, Ferguson. Are you trying to get on Ferguson <laughs> <laughs> before he gets fucking... F- oh, do you know someone there? <laughs> I do. Oh, well. Yeah. Um, I got a good tape in my pocket. <laughs> I shouldn't have said pocket. Doesn't, it's not believable. <laughs> bag. <laughs> Why didn't I say bag? <laughs> Damn it. Guys, a tape in their pocket. Keep going, Jay. Uh. <laughs> Joe's like hoping those three backups aren't working either. <laughs> Don't worry, I got, th- I got three more Goodwill Hunting jokes ready to go. <laughs> I, had so, a, I had dinner last night with Jim Serpico, who yeah. was couldn't stop talking about your special. Yeah. When is that? What's that? You got any news on that? Um. Yeah, we got we got news. Yeah. Can't share it? No, not yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But we have we, we great stuff's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. sounds like it. We got great stuff happening. I'm very we're very happy with it. Yeah. You know, we took a risk, man. You know, look at specials are done in a certain way for certain reasons. I mean, I, I, I don't like it. I don't get it. I just think that not every special should be in a theater, not every special should have a fucking curtain and Blah blah blah. You know, I th- and, and sometimes when they go too far with it, I think it's ridiculous when they do too much kooky shit in a special. Yeah. You know, I think it should be, uh, you know, like I always say, a couple hundred people in a room is what we do ninety percent of the time. If you're a comedian, there's there's ten people that are famous, famous that are doing theaters all the time or big arenas. Everybody else, we're working in clubs on weekends. We're in a club. There's a couple hundred people there, and we're trying to fucking work it out. And you're right in front of them. And you can see them laughing. And I always wanted to film a special like that. And Serpico figured it out. He figured out how to do it. He figured out the camera shots. I mean, yeah. you can't just shoot in a small club because yeah. you're going to see the fucking... He figured it all out. Bobcat fucking did his, did his magic. Did you love Bobcat? Love Bobcat. He's great. Yeah, great guy. And, uh, you know, we, we did it at the Village Underground. You know, I always... You ever see live from the Fillmore and stuff like that? I always saw that. I was like, that's cool. Like... It looks like a fu- and that live from the Village Underground was always like wow that'd be uh, the Comedy Cellar yeah. is always my thing like that would be something to remember that's a poster I'd be like wow that's a fucking great where was that when did that happen you know uh, these other theaters it's like ugh you know there's nine I you can watch a special and I've seen five people with the same fucking you know. Theater, the same artwork on the uh, ceiling. Tells is great, where he performs at the different clubs, and he gives a fan a camera in the front row, and yeah. they film some of it. And yeah. it's like at the stress fa- It's at the places where people do comedy. Like yeah, you said. yeah. I think, uh, I just think that I think it's going. I, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I think it's going back that way. I think more oh, yeah. people are going to start doing clubs instead of these theaters because number one, the technology's there. Yeah, you can it's do it. It's smaller. Now. It's you, you can you can handle it. That show, yeah. The Meltdown. You know, it's a show that takes place every week in the back of a comic shop, and they film the Comedy Central series in the back of that comic shop. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It came I out watched, great. Uh, it was very cinematic. I watched Doug Stanhope special at a club. It was really good, intimate. Yeah, really good. Yeah, this yeah. came out exactly the way I wanted, and it's hard because you see something in your yeah. head, and you don't know if the producer's going to get it. Jimmy fucking just got it. He's the man. I mean, he and he's yeah. so excited about it. He loves, you know, just that you guys just did it. Yeah, we did it, and we did it, and then we we own it, yeah. which is great. It's and great. That's a fucking great. That's a that's a real liberating feeling. You're as doing a Louis shit. <laughs> well, yeah, I got mentioned at the Emmys. Yeah, last night. congrats on that. Yeah. 
but what? Uh, what? 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 And it's a and it's a word speech. He shouted out Bobby. Yeah, really? Who's speech? I was one of the five people to watch the Emmys last Which, night. Which uh, so Louis won an award for what? Don't feel bad. I was at the A and P buying milk and eggs, <laughs> and then I was running back. I forgot that I'm on the phone. Is it whole milk or what do we? She's like, you were just mentioned on the Emmys. I'm like, yeah, that's yeah, that's great. Good for you. Whole milk or fucking <laughs> skip. I'm fucking sick of being in this Who place. Who mentioned you in the Emmys? Uh, this guy named Louis C.K. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. right. So I'm familiar with him. Open Micah. He, um, <laughs> he, worked, he worked at nice. Bunker Hill Community College <laughs> for a semester. <laughs> I'm not going to miss that laugh. What? Say that much. <laughs> 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 that's that's, that's Ke- Kelly right there. This joke completely bombs. Kelly's just like it's deaf comedy jam over here. Yeah. No offense, Brandon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Damn. Fucking <laughs> Howard's more black than Brandon. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Again with this. <laughs> Wait, you guys did a deaf comedy jam joke. You just did a racist feelings. joke. I know, but it, that joke didn't imply that anyone that's successful is white. <laughs> 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 so, I'm sorry about my friend Robert here. That's all right. yeah, He's yeah. from Boston. Last can't night, help it. Louis won uh, for the episode. Um, and the, fat the, the fat girl. The, the fat, fat girl. girl sings. Yeah, and he won best writer. Oh, and wow. he went up, and of course he thanked the, the the girl in the episode. Yeah. And then he thanked me and a couple of the people that were in the episode. It was great. Bobby Kelly he said, "I want to thank uh, what's his name?" And then Bobby Kelly, and it was wow. pretty pretty cool. Wow. Him Ron Lynch, he thanks. Yeah. Huh? That was pretty crazy. Yeah. I mean, th- when they mentioned her, the place went nuts. And then he said Bob Kelly, and nobody said shit. <laughs> and of course, I went to Twitter, and nine people had to fucking let me know that <laughs> you fucking cunts. <laughs> there was a bunch of comedians there. Yeah. Yeah, well, they didn't like me. No. <laughs> no, they didn't applaud. But no, it was really fucking cool of him to do. Yeah, that's really Good cool. Guy. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. That was fucking on the... Um, fucking mentioned. Now next year we hold one. <laughs> right, Dean? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, n- not me, but you. Well. You might be able to win an Emmy. That's the uh, best outstanding performance. Musical. Best drama. You, you pay the money and you get it uh, submitted. What are you talking about? You have to pay money to get considered. But what do you? What musical? You're fucking dumb. TV show. Special. <laughs> it's it musical dumb or performance, whatever it is. Dude, best wig in a pilot. I heard. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you can win for that. You can win multiple <laughs> Emmys. <laughs> I'm gonna win one. What if I just the, don't what want if, you to What be... if the wig won and you lost? <laughs> the wig just won for best supporting <laughs> actor. Yep. What if the bandana Christ. wins? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Howard, can you draw that? I'd love to see. What was your mushroom just, cloud? Just a building exploding behind <laughs> fucking Lawrence's head. <laughs> I think we're gonna, we got to remember this moment where you sat here and you're like, I got mentioned the Emmys, and then next year you're gonna win some. Yeah, well, I believe re- in you, Bob. All right, man. Thank I believe you. in you more than you believe in the African American community. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking nuts? What's wrong with you? I just think. <laughs> You're saying a lot of hurtful things, I Ferguson. Didn't say, I didn't say anything. They called Jesus you Ferguson. Christ. Oh my God. Oh. Anyways, we got this book, and I know you got to go soon. Um, but I want to. I want to make sure that people check this out. Where can they get your book? Uh, it's you know you can get it pretty much anywhere: at, uh, Amazon, iTunes, Barnes and Noble. Uh, the easiest way to do it actually is just go to um, romanceformen.com, and there's links to every possible place to get it. And there's also uh, the audio book, you get the audio book. But um, you can also, if you just put your email address in there, Iceflow emails you a gift that's not to be missed. So you get Oh, that's great. What you, is, what do you? I, I would rather not say, but it's suitable for framing. You're really? going gonna to want a clear space above your bed. It's, it's, you're going to want it. <laughs> really? If you put your email address where? Uh, just go to romanceformen.com. There's a, a little sign-up thing, and it's free, right. and you just get that. Uh, I love it, it, dude. This is why I love you, Dean. You, you, <laughs> he's, he's literally a showrunner, in, which it should be enough for you. Okay? You're on these yeah. great shows. You're a great writer. You, you know, every, the career's popping. And then you wrote this book with, with um, Vinny. Vinny Todorich. He's yeah. uh, You guys don't know this, but he's one of the writers on um, on um, f- uh, Fitness Confidentials. Yeah, yeah. Vinny and I wrote that together. And, uh, and you No know, sugar, no grains. Yeah. Which you're following now. Back yeah, on it. Back on, thank God. The last week. But it's uh, it's been working real good for you. And, and yeah. you know. It's well, it makes you, I really feel a lot better on it. Yeah. I yeah. really do. I, I have sugar. And all of a sudden, I feel like garbage. And then I stop having sugars and grains, and all of a sudden, I just feel better. Wake up in the morning. I took two shits today. I was in the shower. I had to come out of the shower to shit more. Oh, that's that's really isn't that great when that shower. happens? That's, that's my boy. That. That's one of my favorite oh, things. I love a feel-good you know, story. Yeah. <laughs> you know why it's a great thing? Because yeah. you, you don't have to wipe. You can just go back in and hold your asshole oh. open with your two no, fingers. No, you still have to wipe no. up. Yeah. No, you still, still have to wipe. wipe no, you don't. <laughs> you do. No, you, shit. You, you wash it in the shower. I'm, I'm with you, Bobby. I don't think you have to wipe. No, not, you not do in the shower. 
you listen what you do you put your hand in your asshole like this right you put like like this like you're gonna pick up a needle and then when you get into your asshole you push open and then you put it you arch your back like you're about to take it in the ass and then the water goes in and cleans your asshole out. I think you're overthinking it I think it's just don't you just don't you, you just think? you peel the crack you let the water come right. down and then a little bar of soap in there and but I here's the thing you're, you're very you're small than me so to get yeah. into my asshole crack oh, okay you it's need like, like spelunking yeah you, <laughs> <laughs> you need like a fucking you need like your own crane hand to go into my <laughs> like, asshole like one of those robot hands <laughs> you, know, you gotta send claw. In. yeah my asshole's like <laughs> like the Mars rover you need to get yeah. into my asshole you need a bomb squad <laughs> robot to <laughs> <laughs> to get in. But uh, yeah, so I uh, you wrote that, and now here you are writing this fucking crazy book. It's like a sideline thing, you know. It's just I love writing and I love doing stuff, and yeah. uh, so you know, it's fun for me to put that stuff out in addition to the regular. I mean, it's not really my day job, but I right. fucking love it. Well, you know what's funny too is Howard. You, you uh, he's gonna be uh, checking out, and and hopefully we're gonna try to have his artwork be the cover for my special. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. That'd... We shot a couple things in it for him because we wanted like a back behind the head shot. And we, we, we got those shots for him. So hopefully, because uh, I love his work. You know what I mean? He's right. so fucking. I don't know if you've. Do we have any of his stuff? Where is his poster? It's right there. Can you grab his poster? I love um, the opening of, of your special. Yeah. You're walking, I don't want to give it away. Right? Yeah. But yeah. It's it's like an old 70s. It's like a movie, right? Yeah. yeah. It's very cinematic. Yeah. 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 Um, he, he is this, this is actually site right here. Oh, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, oh, wow. It's actually that, Bobby. That's great. You can... Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm showing Dean. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I, thought you, I, thought you were show, I thought you were showing the camera as well. No, why. I'm showing Dean, oh, okay. my friend across yeah, the room. I'm sorry about that. It's I great. thought you were showing the camera. Let me fucking run the show. You push the buttons. Oh, you got it there. You had a couple good ones today, though, Scope. Thank God. <laughs> what are the good ones? He asked <laughs> questions. No, no, jokes. no, he said something about Kelly that was real funny. What I don't was remember. That? That, yeah. When yeah. she laughed, none of us can remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When she laughed, but yeah, he. I love this. Is my yeah. Favorite. That is great. Here's what's great about this: is I said this is what I this is what I was thinking. Yeah. And then he just came back with this. How fucking awesome is that? Well, That's give yourself crazy. more credit because you was like put me in a padded cell after you saw it and yeah, straight jacket. That was the uh, this yeah. is what I want part. Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was trying to give you some credit. Yeah, you there's a big sucker. distance between this is what I want and a finished thing yeah. that an artist has done. <laughs> It's it, absolutely yeah, yeah. What's up? What happened? Give me that back. Oh, all right. Why are you fucking? You, why are you bullying me around? <laughs> just tap me. He, Kobo doesn't know how to be gentle. He just fucking give me that back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guy who fucking. Well, tapped I'm making me. sure I know where everything no. goes. So right. in case you want it again. Um. <laughs> so make sure you you go buy this book. Um. And check it out. And I'm gonna go to that website. I want one of those free. I love free shit. Is that bad? Is that? Am, am I? A, I'm a swag whore. Yeah. Mm. I love swag. I love, like this year at Montreal, swag stunk. Sucked. Last Everybody year they likes free shit. They, yeah. Uh, Brandon's wearing a shirt that says swag. Is it really? Star Wars, baby. <laughs> I, I get yeah, the white guy it. thing now. I get the white guy thing. I get it. Say it. Okay. Uh, can, I get I, it. can I not, can I yeah. say something now without getting Well, Star Wars... Black, white, that's a little more acceptable than success. We talking about Star Wars and more job. racist than Bobby. The bad guy's black. No, it wasn't the job. Life. It was the job he has. <laughs> Overlooking oh, people. Oh, I thought I'm it was just boss, having an apartment though. and paying rent. No, the bar, the no. Bad guys. That's what I thought, and I was going to talk to you and compliment you after the show. <laughs> about the, the, the bad guy is voiced by a black guy, but, but is a white guy. <laughs> but he what, is black. He's Darth Vader's black. What were you yeah. talking about when, you talk, black, when I told you to save it, when you were talking to him uh, in the break? Uh... To Howard? Yeah. Oh, oh. I was talking about, uh, fuck, I asked him about, because he, he does DC shit, and they yeah. were talking about Superman. Yeah. I was like, how come in recent years, Superman just doesn't translate to American audiences? Like, we just, they, I mean, I know the movies have been shitty, but also the character just doesn't seem to connect with people the way, like, Batman and because I think, other people yeah. do. Like, it's just. What do you think And that's a that? famous character, and, you know, Clark, you know, uh, fucking, Mike? uh. I have a blog answer. already written, but yeah. <laughs> go, go ahead, Howard. They, they yes, haven't Howard. made him fun. Like uh, they made him dark and violent. Again and with the racism. <laughs> 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 and uh, they should, I don't know. It, it doesn't translate. It's pretty popular. Here's the, the, the movies don't. <laughs> the movies don't. The, the problem is they overthink it. So the last two Superman movies, okay, Superman Returns, he doesn't throw a punch, and then. The Man of Steel is overly violent. Like they just overthink it. 
so much. They the people who make the movies go in thinking people don't like Superman, and you're already fucked. If you go on stage and you already think the audience isn't going to like you, you're going to be more. Can I also say this though? Is that it seems to me that Marvel will get great actors to play these parts, and they ground the character in something uh, that it's 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 a great uh, acting role. You know what I mean? They make the and then the what DC has done with Superman since they because the original one was a great actor. Christopher Reeves at the time was one of our great actors. And th- since then, they just get these new people. Well, he was a new yeah. person at the time. He was a soap opera. But guy. nothing has no, come close was... to that movie to me. The Richard Donner, Before, Superman, yeah. was Christopher he? Reeve. Before okay. Superman, okay, but he here, wasn't a big Okay, dude. but the last two guys. Yeah. Okay. But that's why they did it, because they thought that was the key to success. They need to get, like, they I, they had Nicolas Cage was lined up to do Superman. Oh, God. I can't wait for that documentary. Yeah. I know. I can't it wait. Talks it talks about that. It looks really good. Shit. <laughs> dude, we were in the, when we were in the D.C. <laughs> offices, they had a so Explain a to people sculpture. what that, that is, though. People don't know what I don't know. So there was supposed to be Superman Lives, I think it was called, right? Yeah. Yep. Tim Burton was directing it. Kevin Smith wrote the script for it. Well, one of the scripts for it. Yeah. Um, and Kevin Smith, if you go on YouTube, he has a huge like ten minute speech about what his pitch was, what happened to the script and stuff. Nicholas Cage. They have like screen tests of him flying and shit. Nicholas Cage. Is it was really gonna get made and then just fucking everything. That the could producer possibly go of wrong. it was obsessed with giant spiders. Yeah, that's the <laughs> John, then, John Peters, right? Yeah, and then he yeah. went on to make Wild Wild, Wild West, West and put a giant spider in it. Really? This guy's like just a adamant about having a giant fetish. spider. <laughs> For no weird, reason. Kevin Smith loved it. But I was saying in the DC offices, there's a sculpture bust of Nicolas Cage as Superman. And, but the, his shit. suit was different, right? Oh, yeah. He had like lights. It was going to be fucking weird. Yeah. There's lights you look at in the, the concept suit? art, it was going to be dark and yeah. fucking weird. It's yeah. going to be Tim Burton. Burton. Well, Tim yeah. Burton, yeah. 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 But it was going to be like but scissor uh, hands. I mean, do you agree with that, though? I think that the new guys, it's like if you look at Batman. If you look at uh, Iron Man and you look at all the, they've they, they got guys that we knew that we were excited oh, yeah, to yeah, see yeah, in yeah. there. You know, it's you know crazy. The janitor from Bunker Hill, <laughs> his best friend is going to play Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Their thing is that. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's that really smart. Yeah. Do you know he's really he smart? Uh, <laughs> fuck, that was but the saddest part uh, about I don't it, like them uh, apples. <laughs> the, sad, the saddest part about Superman. Can I just say, your assistant finds this show not funny at all. Yeah. I, haven't, I saw her chuckle one time. She's, just, she's very dour. <laughs> what is the word? Dour? Dour. <laughs> dour? Occasionally you'll get a smile, but I need to it takes that. a lot. All right, okay. She's been on her phone right, looking up other comedy podcasts this whole time. <laughs> oh, so this format does work. It's just not working now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark Maron. Okay, hang on one second. <laughs> oh, when one person talks to another, that's compelling, but no. Um... I got <laughs> no, but the thing with Superman is that <laughs> I just had to acknowledge it. every time this is a big laugh, I look over and she's just like, <sighs> <sighs> no, his real his real superpower is that he's a great person when nobody else is, and being a good person is seen as unrelatable now because everyone's an asshole. Yeah, well, everybody's a piece of shit. With the world, you know, Mr. Brady fucking fucked dudes. Mrs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brady fucked her son. I mean, nothing is real. All the shit that we grew up on. It was all garbage. Real life yeah. stinks. You know, and yeah, because it was all fake. I mean, it was all like now we realize that, you know, modern family is more what life is. Not even, but, you know, like the shows that we watch now have edge and they're real because we won't accept bullshit anymore because we it's already been outed that we're fucked up as people yeah. and family yeah. lives are fucked up and things are fucked up and life sucks and you have to get through it somehow and decide what type of person you're going to be. And so when you see Superman, you're like, ugh, what a fucking... Well, I mean, the whole Clark know? Kent thing just like doesn't translate to modern it times. The glasses, like, yeah, yeah. It's like, you, you're going to know the fuck that that's Superman. Here's, yeah. like, here's the know, thing, it's, too. It's like, they, they fixed that with Batman because they showed us in Batman Begins that they use pulleys. They use all, it, this was all military funded stuff. So he didn't just fly. This fucking suit was yeah. made for the military. And oh, okay, so now I can suspend reality. I can't do that with fucking Superman when I'm going, that's Superman, you fucking well, see, dumb. That's why twat. Iron Man was brilliant because Iron Man's whole thing for years was, Oh, he's also his bodyguard, and in the movie they're like they say no, that's a dumb idea, and he's like I'm Iron Man, yeah, right out so of the gate. So let's just do a Superman movie fuck where it. there's yeah. no Clark Kent. It's fine. Yeah, fuck. Oh, how about how about 
Superman likes to write too on the side, so he gets it. They let him get a job. The original. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a random <laughs> subplot. Yeah, like a That'd super- be a random <laughs> subplot before, like before <laughs> fighting Zod. He's like, man, I really just want to write. Yeah, well, he <laughs> still has to make money. <laughs> Superman still has to make money, doesn't right. he? Batman does that yes. as well with Bruce Wayne. Yeah, but he so was a mask. Different? What the mask? He wears the mask and he changes his voice into something mm. stupid. But the mask is what the are you saying one. about him being stupid? <laughs> the voice is not good. What about yeah. what about these Superman points that were not mine originally? Because I don't give a shit enough. But <laughs> are great points. Uh, one, <laughs> the, my friend Greg Stone, who's a uh, he's a similar Big comic book guy. Yeah. yeah. One is like they don't need to do the origin story every time. Like oh, James no, no. Bond, there's a new Bond movie. It's just we right. we know Bond. Here's Bond. Why do we have to have an hour dedicated to his... We know where it's going. We know how he is. We know Superman. Oh, that's that's, like that's just what Marvel's off. doing now. We're in a yeah. world Marvel's that Superman Marvel's doing that now for the Phase 3. They're, like, they're not doing origin stories anymore, and the which other, is the, brilliant. The like, other point... just going to be riots to characters. That this other movie sort of addressed, and again, this is not my original point, uh, but, but I agree with it, is the, the main story of Superman should be he, has, he hears everything. So he's yeah. ignoring. He has to choose to ignore thousands and thousands of. Crimes They've done many and stories rapes. about. But that he's also Batman. ignoring that there's Batman. Yeah. Like he doesn't hear Batman. No, going, they're in different cities. Where? Yeah, I know, but he can hear it. Metropolis and uh, the well, other well, one. Well, yeah, where, now, I'm a nerd. Where, where, <laughs> where Gotham and Metropolis are the same city? Right. Oh, is Metropolis South? Where is Metropolis? <laughs> I don't know Metropolis. where it is on the map, but um, <laughs> it's it's close to like Chicago, and Gotham is in New Jersey. Ah. Really? Yeah, in, oh, wow. the, in the actual map. That's yeah. a real answer. Yes. That's why I love wow. Mike. That's why I love Holy fucking shit. Mike Lawrence. Nice. <laughs> and Howard, I got That's Howard Porter who draws it. I got Mike Lawrence who fucking jerks Dude, off. I grew to up him. on Howard <laughs> Porter's. Com- he he drew uh, some of the best comics ever. What? Not, what? In the name some of the comics that he did. Uh, he did Grant Morrison, who's considered the best modern comic book writer. He basically drew the story that launched Grant Morrison into the mainstream, which was uh, JLA. That's when. The original seven big ass members of the Justice League got back together. He uh, did one of the best Batman stories ever, Tower of Babel, where Batman had all of these plans to beat all of the Justice League, and Ra's al Ghul used them to attack the Justice League. Really, I wish I came up with that idea. I just drew it. I know, but <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love Howard. He's the most humble guy yeah. I've ever met in my <laughs> life. <laughs> Artists are artists like that because it's that like, you're in a fucking basement for ten hours a day, You're just like yep. I just do this. It's not yours. Yours in the attic, though. Uh, yeah, Bobby, I, I grew up on your I'm comedy. Bell Tower. Buddy. But what? you look at I grew up on your comedy. <laughs> <laughs> just a tip. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. But you look at like ever. you look at old interviews of Stan Lee, and he's like, <laughs> I created this and I created that, and Jack Kirby, who actually created most of the stuff, is like this old Jew with a stogie in his mouth, and he's like. Yeah, they asked for like a guy who ate planets, so I gave him Galactus. You gotta do is what you gotta do. See Are you him? kidding me? No, he's a, the so most Stan, amazing guy ever. So Stan Lee is not the fucking guy behind Marvel. He's one he's of the guys, but it's it. much bigger than that. He's like the Steve Jobs, right? really. Mm. Who's yeah. the who's the guy behind DC? Oh, was, uh, that was Simon Rock and Schuster. Obama. I mean, there's a lot of yeah, guys. Simon and Schuster? That's a good one. I thought that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. What did he say? Barack Obama. Who's the guy behind DC? Stuff, he goes, Barack Obama. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't bad. Joe Simon and Jerry Schuster. <laughs> Wait a minute. She laughed on that one. <laughs> she likes political humor. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we, we found out very late, but. <laughs> oh, she, she goes, no, She's I wasn't. Like, Can you guys she was laughing at a text. Not political. She, she, was like, la- she was laughing at a text she got. She was like, no, that wasn't laughing It was her boy, Jared. I'm sure. She's like, I'm watching reruns of the West Wing now. Bring bag theories are I swear to God, if you look at her phone right now, there's a timer counting down to 245. <laughs> and yeah. right when, ding, we got to go. <laughs> yeah. You should check out Tuesdays with Stories. It's a much, right. much better podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger fan base, anyway. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's got an itch in my Yeah, head. what the hell was that? I don't know. I just <laughs> <laughs> it was a big move. <laughs> well, yeah, the fact that they're overthinking Superman is why Superman yeah. sucks in the movies. I mean, fav- right now, favorite superhero of all time. Go ahead. Of all time? Yes. Gee, Martian Manhunter. Who? The green John guy. Johns. The green guy from uh, Justice League. John Really? John. Yeah. Wow. Why? It, it's similar to uh, Superman. His planet was uh, destroyed, and he's as powerful as Superman, but he can change his shape. And, really? Uh, yeah. I don't he's know. got a shitty weakness, though. Fire. Yeah. So he can blow up a building, but then the Run blown away. up building will hurt him. Yes. <laughs> Why? See, that blows me away. Why? Why fire? Fire is just so easy. The old well, superheroes. Every one of those old characters. The, the original Green Lantern's weakness was wood. Wood. 
Wood, really? like yeah. any type of wood. Yeah, yeah. Even so his own boners, he would not be able to. Use. <laughs> <laughs> Look how mad Joe is. He didn't get that one in. He wanted that one. Yeah. That's such a I, list of maniacs going. I wish Joe said that. I just <laughs> read recently that a boner is not actually made of wood. <laughs> it's blood. That's not true. <laughs> so, all right. So, who is your favorite? Oh, the thing. The thing is my favorite. Why? He, he's an ugly Jew made of rocks, and so am I. I love the thing. Wow. What about you? I'm Batman all the way, man. You what? Batman, Batman all the way. Really? Yeah, I grew up to animated series. I read all the fucking great books. I have like the fucking long Halloween in my Stop kids swearing. Right now. We get it. Okay. Right. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Come uh, I'm kidding. I'm getting nervous. What about you? <laughs> uh, probably Batman. Really? I love Batman. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Batman's the only. He's the only guy I know. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. <laughs> I don't. Adrian, what about you? Superman. Superman really? Oh, Kelly, what about you? You say Yahoo serious, Hill? I'll punch you in your face. <laughs> <laughs> God, what'd you say? I said the janitor from Bunker Hill, but it's gone now. Are you lucky? Except on it. You're lucky. First of all, I don't think it was there at any Kelly, point. Kelly, you can't you, call back to my joke. <laughs> that was for Joe. Kelly, do you know how lucky you are that I stepped on that joke? <laughs> but I'm such a dummy, I repeated it. Kelly's stealing Joe's jokes now. Uh, what? Uh, I'm a regular. All right, what about you? Uh, probably Iron Man. You know what? I, I, I have to go. I would say I'd have to go with Iron Man right now, too. I fucking love Iron Man. He is the before shit. Before the movies. Um, I liked him before the movies. I loved him after. Once Tony Stark, see, the, with me, once I can see the person in, I can actually see a real human being, and then I can read the comic, I see that person doing it. So now I even love it more. But a, a millionaire, cocky fucking dude that has a suit, is so cool to me. I just love it. He's a better character than Batman. <laughs> yeah, I think he is too. I mean, Batman, it's like, you know, there's a lot of things that just don't make sense with him. I mean, What's the difference between, like, the way that he earned his money that he feels... Like, Batman just has the money, but, like, that he did it through weapons, so there's that guilt. Yeah. And then the alcoholism. Like, yeah, that's him, like... He, de- he deals with, like, the shit that Bruce Wayne doesn't really, like, yeah. in the it's comics. Like my like, dad, like, Are you changing your answer? No, no, I'm just saying, like, Tony Stark does have, like, that shit, though. <laughs> Yeah. I'm changing my answer to Jack Ice Float. I, I'm telling you, <laughs> I would fucking love if they did a comic book on this guy. It would be awesome. Yeah, you should. You should hire him. Have well, hire him guy. to write a what comic about book. That yeah, he's great. <laughs> yeah, he's he's really good. There's gonna be more. There's who is it? Is he a comic book artist? Um, no, well, he does comic, but it, it's like all uh, indie comics and right, stuff like okay. that. But yeah, he's really good. Awesome. All right. I like I'm just trying to make connections, too. guys. Don't yeah. fucking get mad at me. All right. <laughs> I fucking stepped on something. I'm sorry. Um, all right. Make sure we got to get you out of here. It's you got five minutes. Yeah. All right. I want to make sure I get your plugs in. Um, we're going to keep going for a little bit if you guys don't mind. Yeah, sure. You yeah. guys good? I How are you good? Three. Who? Me. Yeah. You. Yeah. All right. I would, if I were you, I'd kind of wrap it up if I leave. <laughs> <laughs> the Bunker Hill uh, comments to stop. I yeah. can't. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know how to shut these phones off in here. The re- reason why I love the studio, you never know when Gnome's going to walk up and just use his bedroom, and you never know when the phones are going off or something's going to happen up here. A dude uh, lives here? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> this, a gnome. This, <laughs> this is the, this is above the comedy cellar, <laughs> right? And Gnome, you know, this is his old apartment that uh, he, okay. yeah, and he, he he's never here. Back. What's that? Is he over there? You guys keep looking over there. No. Oh. He's not. Why? Are you nervous? I thought he was All hiding right. in the curtains or something. You guys both kept looking over Jack there. Jack Ice Flow Jackson, Romance for Men, Pandora's Box. It's a long title. Yeah. Box. Yeah. Um, uh, make sure you go check this out. Tell them where they can get it again. Um, best thing to do is go to romanceformen.com, oh. and uh, you can get it any which way from there. I always wanted to fuck a witch. Well... <laughs> 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 Not like a wizard, but a real witch. Yeah. You know what I, I find mean, amazing? I, I think it's a green girl. Yeah. I just wanted to fuck a green Your girl. Your actual names are nowhere in this book, huh? No, it's written by Jack Iceflow Jackson. But I'm taking responsibility for it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Does that mean every yeah. time we watch a Wizard of Oz, you get a boner? Because she's a green witch, Bobby. So we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna let, uh, what else you got going on, buddy? Uh, I'm writing a couple pilots for FX. This one, you know, the one on Romance for Men. There's yeah. another comedy I'm writing for them. And... Uh, uh, a script I wrote a little bit ago, um, Sony just picked up, and so we're putting that together as right. a half hour. So there's a bunch of bunch of TV stuff. You're just on fire, dude. I'm working a lot. Like You're you. on fucking fire, Like brother. you. I'm just trying. I got to do 100 projects so I can get another one with you. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so I, was fucking, I was so psyched. Dude, I, 
I was so psyched for Bronx Hornets. I know. And those Dave was fun. those guys are great. I'm doing a great fucking project with those guys. Really? Right? That's one of the reasons I'm in town is working They're with those guys. They're fucking. We tell them I said hi. I will. I we, will. You know, they love you, by the way. I love. You, them. you know what they said about you? They, they, they these two guys are they're two cops that uh, Bronx Warrants uh, was based you know based on their experiences and they came to see you for the first time you know at, at uh, the comedy cellar yeah. just to check you out yeah. when we were talking about you and they called me and this was their comment about you they go he knows how to clear a room he can clear a room yeah. and they that you were like you had cop abilities yeah <laughs> so yeah, yeah. They, yeah uh, they're fucking great man these two dudes are fucking hilarious they wrote a great script there and you fucking came in and and and, and fucking made it happen and we we I think we put a great show together. It we sucks did. it didn't get picked up, but it, sucks. it happened. Now that you, you know. see what they did, what they yeah. what is out, we like. Oh, they wanted that. Yeah, but that's fine. That's there will fine. be there will be other things. Believe me, I got good stuff going on. You do too. You're goddamn right. Then we just have to work together. And we then will. your assistant. I want her to laugh at this show someday. Well, you only get three. <laughs> oh, you only geez, get three. Look at that <laughs> shaking the head. <laughs> you get three Brutal. laughs a day out of her. It, I can't. Like I can't waste one of the three laughs on this show. Did you laugh? <laughs> just tell me. Did you laugh at this book? Just yes or no. You la this book made you laugh, but this podcast didn't, right? <laughs> Right. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Jesus, is that your uh, dad, this, Mike? All right, I gotta go with her now because she's hey. in the room. <laughs> okay. I never let anybody bring anybody. I said he said Dean wants. Me. I go absolutely whatever Dean wants yeah. to give it. But I never let anybody come up here <laughs> for the simple fact that they might not get it or they it's not their thing. And then you have. I feel bad because we all have to look over there and just see someone not liking <laughs> what we're talking about is fucking hysterical. Those are, there you go. Well, she Check found the book funny. Well, there you go. That's all you need. She's not my assistant. She's yours. So here we go. Uh, Pandora's Box, Romance for Men. It's a hilarious book. Unbelievable. Written by one of the funniest guys out there right now. Dean, thanks for stopping by. Hey, thanks and, for having uh, me. I will, uh, I will see you. Call me. And uh, you, are you going to be walking around? What are you doing? Uh, I'm actually going to the Letterman show. Oh, shit. Uh, which is why I got to. Are you on it? No, I'm going with Howie Mandel. Oh, who, shit. Who, who is on it. And a then... funnier Famous, more. I get it. Okay. No, well, it's, I got. There's. I'm there, I doing a couple projects with Howie. So. All right, you got it, brother. Yeah. All right, we'll go All have right. fun, brother. Take care, guys. And uh, we tweeted out the your Twitter name for the uh, book so people can follow it on the YKWd. Oh, great. So okay. Yeah, we'll do what we can, man. We'll promote the fuck out of it, brother. All right, All right. have fun. Thanks a lot, everybody. That's it. Take care. Um, be good. So yeah, walk these guys out. Make sure they know where they're going. Um, yeah, it's 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 weird. The. Uh, you can just I, I hear her saying "free at last, free at last." <laughs> Lord Almighty. She, you got, she didn't even wait for him. She just left. Yeah. Take care. Bye, buddy. Take care. Um, so yeah, it's weird that Mar I feel like Marvel did it right, and and DC. I would agree with me if we watch Letterman tonight and we just hear her laugh through the entire <laughs> episode. <laughs> of Letterman. We wouldn't know. Oh my God, who it was. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> like some people you meet and you're like this like immediately you ever meet somebody and you immediately go this person hates me yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. I've everyone I've ever yeah. met I've yeah. my, my I call them fans no. listen <laughs> <laughs> I've never listen I never met her I don't know who she is I went th immediately when I said hola she hates my guts I've done nothing to her I've said nothing except hello this person will never like me in the world and she sat there and just fucking was annoyed with everything we had to say. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. But there you go. That's all fun. <laughs> um, I think it was me. I think it was the topless thing I did up front. I don't. I don't think. I think it was every person in this room. I think it was everybody in this room. Yeah. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. She fucking hated everybody. That's why I don't allow uh, civilians up here. I don't know. Hey, can I bring my girl? No. Godfrey girl did the same thing. Godfrey came up. Oh, yeah. She sat in the same chair, did the same any thing. Any guy that's ever bought a girlfriend up here, the girlfriend's been shit house. Yeah, or, uh, you know, any type. Oh, this is not a fucking, some <laughs> chick, you know, some civilian girl's show. Let's put it, it that like way. It was like when I was six at a comedy club and my mom was on stage. It was like the most boring thing to me watching stand-up but here's the thing though if i was somebody's assistant i would fake laugh just so i yeah, didn't make yeah. hey yeah. somebody's promoting your boss which puts money in your thing i would actually that's an la assistant thing new york yeah. assistants like fuck it <laughs> yeah yeah she's from la oh oh my god crazy i'm gonna have to have a talk with dean about her yeah, yeah. she shook her head when you were like Listen, fun? here's the here's look at sit down ask me if anybody can bring anybody up here again can anyone no okay. no well, I knew it was Dean, so I wanted to like yeah, I wanted to no. make sure. Listen, she was not assisting. <laughs> <laughs> no, not with this. I like that fucking Brandon automatically sat in the head chair. No, I told him to move there. 
I'm yeah, kidding. We, I'm geez, kidding. You're oh, fine. You're just, <laughs> get so nervous. Therein lies the ha-ha. <laughs> this, I really do like this book, though. This was, yeah. uh, it's it's actually, it's perverted and fucking funny, and I like it. And uh, oh, yeah. I do get off. I mean, you draw. Here's my question. You know, you read these comic books, and some of them, some of these guys draw women. Oh, my. It's like, fuck. Every muscle in their thigh, and, and, uh, and like they're, and you can see them, and the this thing is so tight, and it's beautiful. And then you go to the next thing where another artist drew it, and it's like he didn't. It's just he. It's like I feel like he gave up. Like he didn't draw. It's not as the girl is not as hot anymore. You know what I mean? Mm. Like right. Storm in one comic book is like what I want right. to fuck her now. The next one is just like you know a leg and an arm and you no know, abs. She just looks like CCH Pounder. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Why yeah. is that? Um, just personal preference, I guess. Um, did you see the new Spider Woman? Yep, cover? I saw okay. that. Yeah, that's causing. She's you. bent over. And, yeah, yeah and like, it looks oof. like her. Um, yeah, but it's drawn by like a, a like a what a Spanish guy in his sixties. Yeah, like yeah, that's what he's known for. <laughs> Uh, oh, look at the ass. <laughs> what, 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 so what, the new one is hot? It's very uh, suggestive. It looks like her uh, costume is painted on. And really? Pull that up, Kelly. Would you? I want to uh, see that. What is it? All kinds of spider woman. My, yeah. Milo, spider woman? Milo Manara. Yeah. M-A-N-A-R-A is the artist. Is this a movie or a, a comic, comic book? book? Comic, comic book. Comic book. See, cover. see, I like that when the fucking chick's smoking hot. It's like, oh, my God. How, I was just reading the one, the uh, New Avengers, and they caught the Avengers, and they were all hanging up nude in the, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. right? And, I, and, you, and they don't show any, but be like, oh, my God. Uh, uh, Captain America and everybody's looking at her naked. Like, you know what I mean? And I will say, I get bored in the movies. Like, most of the women all fight the same way. Oh. Like, every woman has, like, the head scissor takedown, like, hurricanrana type thing. And they all... Like, the, the the thing I hate most, like, when... I think Black Widow fought great. Yeah. You don't think it's, she fought great? It's the same movie. But it was the head... And, the and the thing is... She does like I'm when I'm sick of move, women in action movies when they always have to make the the pouty face like the hmm after they beat someone up like you're supposed to be impressed that they did that it's like no it's it's fine we see it a lot it's okay like Ronda yeah. Rousey in Expendables three every time she beats someone up she then like winks at the camera and it's gross look Ronda Rousey's not an actress one thing she's a fucking oh and that movie no, proves not. it she's yeah. terrible she is not an Oof. Actress. Does yeah, but Sylvester she Stallone make the pouty face too? After Here, here's the thing, though. <laughs> Look what I just did. I beat these guys. But here's the thing with her, and this is what sucks with uh, people who cross over. Nobody's around them telling them that. Everybody yeah. around them is going, you're great, you're yeah. great. You're going to do another one. They want you for another. Oh, I'm an actor now, and now I'll do acting, and I'll do my thing. And it's like, listen, you're gonna. You, there's a difference between a fucking actor and... And what the fuck you did? It works. You, Batista's you, amazing in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, he he really great. did good. Hilarious. Stuff. But I think wrestlers are actors. Yeah. I think they're great actors because True. every day they get scripts from writers and they have to learn lines in seconds. And yeah. then they live shoot that shit sometimes yeah. Yeah, yeah. where they can't. Fu- that that there's makes, no prompter. Yeah. No, you got to become you. You're becoming that character. And you have to be great, and you have to do it in front of live people. It's 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 theater. I mean, yeah. you can't. You, when you're going in as a fighter, and then you're going on a movie set, that's a totally different thing. Totally fucking. These guys, Batista was amazing, hilarious. That's the best comic book movie yet, ever. Who, who's yeah. gonna have the balls to tell Ronda Rousey? You know that's horrible. She'll just. You know who will <laughs> the fucking box office True. when yeah. she does her own movie, and they, like they did with Gina Carano. I yeah. mean, they did it with yeah. Expendables Three. That shit bombed. That movie bombed it was hard. Like, yeah, fucking yeah, bombed. And Gina Carano's movie, they had to dub her voice in. Oh. They dubbed a, a fucking cooler voice in. <laughs> I love Gina Carano. I love Ronda Rousey. I just, it's like Let I don't. Let them fight. Don't talk. Yeah, yeah, fight each other. But it's like if you're gonna do a movie, please don't think you're gonna jump over and. And, and be a, a movie star. Yeah. It's, it's, it's GSP, not happen. though, was good in Avenger, uh, Captain America. I he he said, was, f- first of all, he said three words. He looked angry, and then he said three words, and a couple of them were in French. So we don't even know what the fuck he really said. And his costume sucked. Yeah. So <laughs> He was boring. All right, he, well, he, he, I thought he, it was good. But he did. <laughs> but the, 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 character that he, the character that he plays is so fun and awesome in the comics, and he had none of that in the movie. <laughs> Everyone's just had moments of dejection on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> just like, well, it's... Oh. Uh, he I forgot Silva was not, here. I didn't know who was talking. I looked at everyone's <laughs> face to figure out who was talking. GSP did not capture the essence of Batrock the Leaper. And you know who that is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> I think that uh, I think Guardians. I've seen it twice. I went and saw it Friday night with Ryan Hamilton again, 
The Late Show, and I loved it just as much. It was fucking awesome. It's the best. Yeah. Do, you think, a, do you think? Do you think it was so good because it's um, it's kind of it's fun. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and then the yeah. Spider-Man stuff, or all the Superman stuff, it's always so serious and I mean, dark it, all the time. I think it was and good because well, it was fun, fun to watch. No, 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 because it's funny. <laughs> I think it was good because it was good. No, I think it's because like it was enjoyable. <laughs> She's going to yeah, go back to Australia and be a film thing. critic. And you know what it is about Marvel? They let these people write these scripts. They let them kind of go off and do their own thing. They don't fuck with the movie. Like That's why I heard about Spider-Man. That's why the new Spider-Mans have been so bad because the studio keeps like giving them notes and trying to change shit. Well, the thing is, if and you make a good movie first, no yeah. one gives a shit. Like, oh. And that's the thing. Like Guardians, mo- I, I, I haven't read much Guardians. Most people don't know about those characters, but it doesn't matter because the movie was good. If it's fu- if, the, if the jokes work in it, it it's one of but the funniest movies of the year. Funny fucking movie, great movie. It was yeah. it was it was a uh, great soundtrack. Everything yeah. was the soundtrack was amazing. But here's the thing: is that when now that you know that it 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 uh, put everything in perspective with Avengers and Thor and, and and Captain America and Iron Man, you know that they're all gonna come together. Yeah, and like all these little scenes, like in 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 Avengers where uh, Loki's on this other planet and talking to that guy. To see that guy get his head snapped yeah. by fucking um, Ronan. That was yeah, like, yeah. oh, shit, these are all connected. Yeah, yeah, and they're all going to come together is like, fuck, that's, I can't wait. You know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's exciting. I don't feel that way. On, on, it's like Batman versus Superman. I'm like, you better do it right. Because if you don't... They're throwing everybody in there. That was yeah. supposed to be a Man of Steel sequel. And they fucking were just like, well, Wonder that Woman. one kind of bomb. Let's yeah. just throw well, in know, everybody. Part of the problem is is that all of like the like the Wonder Woman image, like all of the pictures look dull and gray and reddish. They look boring. And like you look at you look at Guardians, you take Michael Rooker, who's just a great character actor, right? He's awesome in everything he's been in. Right. And you paint him blue, right. like this goofy color, and it's awesome, right. you know, because he he's just being Michael <laughs> Rooker. John C. Riley, like the char- the actors that they cast are fascinating. They're good actors. That's Glenn what you were Close at the beginning. What's yeah, that? Yeah. That's what you're saying at the beginning. That's what I'm saying at the beginning. They're 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 treating these roles not as superhero roles, but as a regular movie. Benicio del Toro is incredible. Oh, right. Incredible. But you know what changed that though? What? Dark Knight. Dark Knight, Heath Heath Ledger, you're, you're absolutely Ledger, Joker. I don't even Oscar, say. I'd say. Be, I'd everything. say the first original Dark Knight changed it because Batman himself was one of our greatest actors. Well, yeah, He's Jack a phenomenal. Jack Nicholson in '89. Oh I mean, fuck, Jack. I mean, Nicholson. and I agree, but I'm just saying. But the big Jack actor. Nicholson, yeah, I'm are they like, ready yeah. for me? Oh, yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> he looks like he just you know fell what? asleep in coke. I'll tell you when I fucking I hated Batman. That Batman. When I saw Mr. Freeze and he was running away and someone hit one of the ice things and it wiggled because it was made of plastic. <laughs> I, I, I said, I'm done with this fucking. But we got to see one of those ice things in the DC office. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I wouldn't fucking go touch it. Yeah. Touch a wiggling piece of ice. <laughs> yeah. Bobby, I got I to gotta run. Okay, Sorry. Joe. I forgot. Why do you got to run? To I gotta, walk. I got to do, uh, <laughs> do the Sam Marill podcast. What are you doing? Sam Marill's podcast. You're fucking leaving my show? Well, I don't want to get into the whole thing another here. Play, another place needs unnecessary callbacks. I understand. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> unnecessary. The laughs. I thought the laughs were necessary. Uh, oh. Yeah. But I'm going to get out of here so you guys can break down comic books. That'll be fun for everyone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> go watch baseball. Listen, That's I'm more fun. I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling so much. I'm going to watch baseball and then not talk about it on a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I only named half the audience. Oh. Oh. I just, I'm with Joe. I'm with Joe. Movies make billions of dollars. They're popular uh, now. Um, yeah. So does baseball, by the way. Line. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It makes more money than movies, I think. Um, <laughs> for the players. This is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, this is the best back and forth yeah. I've ever had on the show. Because <laughs> I'm talking to you the whole time. <laughs> Bully. I figured what I was going to say. Where am I going? Give me Sam's your dates. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say. The yeah. podcast was supposed to start at 1230. I've yeah. been here for two hours and 25 yeah, minutes. I'm and I got here 10 minutes early. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry. It was my fault. Well, today. you tried to bust my balls about leaving the show. No, you don't have to leave. I'm just, I said, I don't I run. I be done No, you said I got to run. I said, don't run. I said, walk. I didn't bust your balls. Don't run. Away. Think about Bunker Hill Community College. Yeah. Is, uh, <laughs> Joe, I'll see you later. Make sure you listen to his yeah. podcast. Uh, we're going to be. We're, I don't know what's happening. Tuesdays with stories. All we're going to wrap this up very shortly. Love you, Joe. Um, we love you, Joe. Bye, Joe. I'll see you next week. I got a picture of the Spider Woman. With the, is this the red? That yep. one? Oh, yeah. Let me see. <laughs> let me see. Yeah, look at that arch back. Look at that ass. That's oh, crazy. Yeah. 
Wow, man. It's the first time I've seen the picture without my own jizz on it. So. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> just give, yeah, but we'll give you a minute. Can I just say something, though? I... I like that. Oh, yeah. A lot of people. Do, like have you ever seen do you draw like that? No, Sometimes I, I, I don't draw like that. Because no, just I, when we, I'm alone, yeah, I, I draw <laughs> like that. Have you, can <laughs> I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Sir? Sure. Have you ever drawn a fucking, like a piece of art, a chick where you're like, oh, my God, I would jerk off to my own artwork? <laughs> no, not yet. No? No. no. Oh, my God. <laughs> If I could draw like you, I would just draw tits. <laughs> you'd, have a, you'd have a draw of tits. I've done, I've done things to some of your pictures of Big oh, Barda that, that I cannot see. That's say. why I don't draw like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't want big dudes to do that. Big Barda. That's, that's, that's a DC character. Right. Her name is Big Barda. That's fucking crazy. All right, listen, we're going to wrap this up. Um, can we tell people some of the... Because I, I want to know, too. Okay. Some of the... Uh, Comic book series is that you wrote that we if we want, if someone wants to go see your art and okay. read the comic book what what can they do? So I said you, you draw. I, you, yeah, he's, draw he's the first. Them. He's like I don't write on my draw. I, I don't draw. I know, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. you draw right. them. But I want to see your art and enjoy the comic. Right, what can I? Right now I'm doing a book called Justice League Three Thousand. Yeah, uh, you can get that. At, you can get it online. Uh, DC has an app, right? Uh, or you can go to a comic book shop. And, Find it. <laughs> this is so. This is your. What are you <laughs> laughing at? Because he's like, you can go to a comic book. I mean, that's you. You're, you're not gonna. That's all. You, you can't find them at Walmart. Justice or League three thousand. What's <laughs> yeah. another one? What's what, what's one? Should I ask Mike? Because he seems to know. Oh yeah. What's the if the you're gonna Flash. if you're a Howard Porter fan? What comic book? I mean, Tower of Babel is probably I think the the best thing that yeah. he's drawn. That's the best Justice story. League of America from right. Yeah, uh, late Mark 90s, Wade's the writer, 2000s. one of the best writers ever, and you draw it, and it's fantastic. If you love Batman, it's great. It's it's a great. Uh, they they did a movie of it called it's Justice League Doom. It's Doom. an animated yeah. movie, really. But it would it. not surprise me if it becomes a live action movie too. It's one of the best stories ever. Okay, cool. I'm gonna check that out. I was trying to find. I wanted to find like the because I was explaining to you, it's very hard to find story arcs. Yeah. And and, and to go through them and keep, you know what I mean? And right. It, like. You saw the movie Avengers. Where did what what where did that happen? Yeah, in the book, and it, it, it didn't. It doesn't. And it doesn't ju- Justice all. League, uh, New World Order. That's a great one too. The entire planet rises up, and the <laughs> yeah, no, that's yeah, World War Three. Oh, World War Three. Okay. Now, when you <laughs> I don't even remember. So, you, you, so how does it work with a comic? You do you, you have to draw the art after they write the book, right? You get like a script, right? Like, um, which you would get for a play or a TV show, right? It's broken down into pages, and yeah. So you sit there and go, okay, this page, um, you know, Batman is right. coming out of a fucking plane. And fall. I got to yeah, direct yeah. it like, so you, and come up with the sets and all that. Right. So you'll come, you'll, you'll come up with the – now, does it, do you just do it and it gets approved and then you finish? Or do you finish it and say, this is it, fuck you? <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, usually when I finish it, it's done, but sometimes there'll be notes to, to correct. But um, – in the past, you would have uh, I w- a penciler was what I do, and then it would be handed off to an anchor who would go over it with ink. But okay. now I'm doing it all myself. You do everything yourself. Yeah. Why is that? Because of technology? Yeah, I'm, I'm able to uh, speed up the process with computers. So, so you do everything on a computer? Uh, about 50%. What, yeah. So what, you, you, you have a pen, a pencil, and you... Right. I, I do the rough on the computer, print it out, and then I trace it off on a light box with pencil and paper. Right. And, and then back you, into the computer, and you scan that back into the computer. Right. Yep. And then what do you do with that? Then you draw, and then you—that's yeah, when you start adding the color and the details. I actually don't color it. There's a colorist because so you time so wouldn't permit it. Really? Yeah. So so someone will color in what you do. Yes. Really? Yeah, because these things come out. It's a, a assembly line process. They have to come out like you know regular magazines once a month. You have to wow. get a page a day done. So wow. it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure, man. It's That's all a, deadlines. Yeah. I didn't yeah. fucking know that. Is that why you're stressed out all the time? <laughs> Am I? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> dude, the guy back in the day, the dudes would do like four or five comics a month. Yeah. Like Kirby yeah. would do like four comics a month. Wow. Yeah. That is a lot of pressure because if you if if you fuck off, if you wa- stay out late drinking and partying and you don't get your work done. And I screw the f- next guy in the line. Fuck, and yeah. it, just, it just falls off. Right. Has that ever happened? Once or twice. Really? <laughs> Comic companies, they always have inventory stories, like, in the tank, basically. So if a, an artist is late on the deadline, they can just put in... It's usually, like, a fill-in artist, like, an inventory story that they'll it, just have in the middle of there. And fans love that, when their story is interrupted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. They must fucking no. hate it. Yeah. Oh, God. So but you, it's happened to you? Did you get in trouble? Did you get fired? Um, no, I've never... 
gotten fired. Good. But, uh, but yeah, they had to pull the inventory thing or fill in. But uh, oh shit, I, I've been pretty good with my deadlines. Yeah. Yep. It's great. He pulled up in a Beamer. I just I told him. <laughs> I, like, I think I go. Only uh, douchebags drive. This isn't your car, is it? <laughs> I go. Oh fuck! This is your car. He goes. Yeah. I go. I have a theory. Only douchebags drive BMWs. And I said, you're correct. <laughs> there was in the in the early 2000s. There was an X Men issue where this. Uh, they were so late on the deadline. This one guy was like, I bet I could do, and I won't mention the name, but he was like, I bet I could do this in a week. He's like, I'll get the whole issue out in a week. And it's the most unreadable thing <laughs> you've ever seen. He's like, you did it. You shouldn't have. What but, was it? Uh, it was huh? an X-Men. It, it was, was an, an X-Men, X-Men issue. And because like when you read the storyline, like the trade paperback, it's like, oh, part one looks great. Part two looks great. And then you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just hits you hard. Nobody knows he had to rush. They just see the finished thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Crazy. All right. So, yeah. Howard, thank you for coming in today, brother. Thanks for having me. I man. really appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming to my barbecue. Thanks. Fun time. And uh, What happened to all that meat? I gave a lot of it away. Yeah. yeah I gave. I Just people were taking it. That was a lot of meat. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I cooked a lot of fucking food. I, uh, yeah, everybody took plates home. So thank God my neighbor came home. And of course, we had it twice yesterday. We had sausages <laughs> twice. I made her make sausage cacciatore. That's why I was at the fucking AMP getting milk and eggs and uh, mushrooms. <laughs> and uh, while I was being mentioned on the Emmys, I was a fucking <laughs> cocksucker in my life. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, Mike, thanks for coming by, dude. Uh, thanks, man. Um, uh, congratulations on your marriage. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, you, it's fucking awesome. It's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's the best. I mean, you, you you've been married for longer than all of us, for Christ's sakes, which is crazy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Howard is like the <laughs> nicest guy. I just can't imagine you ever getting mad or angry. You're like uh, the sweetest little guy. I get mad at myself. You yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> he really is. Screaming he in really the mirror. is just a beautiful. Are you going to invite Bobby to your wedding now? <laughs> no, it's not. We don't not. have enough meat. Uh, <laughs> 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 that's, fat, that's a fat joke. Brandon, uh, thank you for coming down. Absolutely, man. I appreciate it, Kelly. How many more weeks we got left to you? Uh, three. Three weeks. Shit. Um, three. All right, so what do you got? You got anything you want to promote? No, I'm just just happy check to be out here. his stuff. Yep. Thank you for coming. What do you got, Mikey? Um, my my album uh, Sadamantium is still on sale. You can go on my website, uh, MikeLawrenceComedy.com. dot com, and I'll be at uh, JFL forty two in Toronto September eighteenth through the twenty first. I always wanted to do that. I've been to Toronto so many times too. I'm such a fucking needy douche. <laughs> I just did JFL three years in a row. I've been to Toronto. I just did a tour with them. I want to do it. I'm such a fan. Have fun up there. <laughs> it's a blast. That's a yeah, blast. I'm excited. Up there. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Rob. What's his name from t- Toronto? Rob wants to take your job too. A lot oh, yeah? of people want your job. Yeah. But he doesn't live here. He's moving here. Is he? Yeah. Jay's he? Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe See? I'll talk to Rob. Yeah, talk to Rob about it. But we got a uh, the girl Shannon. Uh, I got to get her photo. Uh, make sure. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the girls oh, you have to get the photos. Here's the what guys. I want from everybody. If you want to intern for this Kelly's job, I need a photo and I need a somewhat of a resume of what you can do because there's a lot of Facebook and Twitter and videos and audio, s- audio and you know stuff like that. So send it to Kelly at Riotcast.com. Yeah. Kelly at Riotcast.com and CC me YKWD at Riotcast.com yes. and we will uh, go through them. So I know a bunch of you sent them already. Resend them to Kelly and myself yeah. and we'll go through them. Uh, what do you got, Brandon? Uh, you guys can follow me on Twitter, Mr. Underscore B. Collins. Uh, check out my show, Comedy Outliers, uh, dot com. I also have a podcast, Comedy Outliers. We have our show on Saturday, September 20th. Uh, go to our website. Uh, hit me up on Twitter for the discount code and hope to see you guys there. Who's on the show? Uh, we got... Fuck. Why you got to ask me that now? Um... I'm completely blanking on the line. Kelly, what do you got? <laughs> um, uh, well, it must be a great show. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> worth fucking remembering. I'm going to be at the Stress Factory on uh, the 9th of September. For so, who? Um, oh, it's just like a bunch of us. Oh, good. Um, which is great. So I might, uh, if people come out, I might uh, grab some stickers and stuff and see if anyone shows up, blah, blah, blah. And mean? also on uh, Friday the 12th at the Creek, I'm doing a uh, one-off show, New York Sex Stories. Uh, it's a free show. It's going to be great. Great. So check that out. Yeah. And they'll stop by. What do you got, uh, Scopo? Uh, just get me on Twitter, at Chris Scopo. And we're going to be uh, at Foxwoods with you and Lewis, uh, October 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Okay. Check that out. What else? I'm going to be in Copenhagen. Yeah, you're going to be in Denmark, September 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, yeah. in the Bremen Theater in Copenhagen, Denmark. And then where? And then you're going to be October 10th, one night at the Comedy Shop in Hazlitt, New Jersey. 
the next night, uh, October 11th, at the Seneca Casino in Niagara Falls. And how are you doing two and one? That's a mistake, by the way. Uh -oh. I don't know how you're doing that. I will fix that. Well, and then we start filming, too. We start filming uh, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll. Uh, in October. So uh, there you go. Uh, good news coming. I can't announce it yet, but a lot of great stuff happening. You guys are the best fans in the fucking world. I'm talking to you. Uh, if you're a man and you go on Twitter and you tell another man how much he stinks, you're a fucking not a man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. My men don't tell other men uh, reviews and opinions. You go to their face and you tell them. If not, you shut your fucking mouth. My grandfather is a man. He would have never went on the internet and went, I don't like your pond. Fuck you. You stink. Just know that. If you say negative shit to people as a fucking coward, you're a coward, <laughs> fucking non-man piece of shit. That's what you are. That's really what you are. You understand that? <laughs> know that. You're a fucking coward. I don't like your, you're a coward. Just don't like it like a man. Okay? You get Be it? a man, sit yeah. in this studio, yeah. and not laugh for two hours. That's how you <laughs> fucking do this shit. Yeah, that's what she did. Yeah. That's a hero. <laughs> she had balls. That, that's brave. You yeah. know? It's not brave. It's fucking stupid. Go downstairs <laughs> and have a cup of coffee. You don't need to be here. Yeah. Um, all right. You guys are the best. Thanks for listening. You know what, dude?